Hey everybody, what's going on? Rob Sestrino back, Club Condo week two, and we have a star-studded extravaganza here at Club uh, Condo, as it's the Several Teen Placers Club Roundtable here, one night only at Club Condo, and here is my co-host here for Club Condo, Chappelle. Chappelle, how are you? Rob, did you hear that theme song? Man, this is amazing. I'm so happy. Listen, we're not underwater anymore. We're above water. And mm -hmm. we have um, some people that I've drafted before. We've had some yep. people that I've rooted for before. And people who are will probably never see on television screens but again. So I'm very excited what? to talk about that here on Club Condo. Yes, Rob, it's a party. Okay. All right. Well, it is a party. Let's bring in the panel here today. The several teen placers are yeah. here with us, of course. Back in Survivor 42, he was the several teen placer from, uh, I don't, I, I, I don't even know what the name of the tribe, Ika? Ika oh, tribe? Ika. Ika. Yes. Ika. Zach Wernberger. Ika. Ika not Yuka. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I know eight years ago, Jeff Probst asked us, do you believe in participation trophies? And I think this podcast is proof of a resounding yes. 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 We all know. Okay. All right, Zach, great to have you here. From Survivor 44, she was idled out of the game. Please welcome back our great friend, Maddie Pamia. Maddie, how are you? Hi, y'all. Thanks for having me. Yes. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Okay. Happy to be here. Came out okay. of retirement. <laughs> okay. Well, happy to have you back here. Coming out of retirement, like Dan Geesling. Mm -hmm. She's uh, uh, back for one that? last run. What, Zach? Wasn't, wasn't your last podcast a month ago? That was community service. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Retired. All right. And then just fresh off of Survivor. 45. So excited to welcome the uh, penultimate member of the 17th <laughs> Placers Club, Brandon Donlin. Hey, hey. The, the, the plane for the Challenge 40 left this morning. My ticket had a misprint. My name was spelled incorrectly. So mm -hmm. I had to stay and do this. So thrilled to be here. Yes. Okay. Brandon Donlin is here. Coke Zero in hand. Kiwi, baby. That's some yes. cross promotion for Renat. Okay. I'm sure when he watches this, he'll have some FOMO. His mouth will be watering. <laughs> you didn't say pickle, so not, not quite. Yeah, it's not as much okay. as it All right, Chappelle, Rob. can you believe it? I mean, last week, it was just us on the premiere of Club Condo. We got a lot of nice feedback about that. But here we are with a loaded panel. Y yeah, I, I love these 17th places. Some of my favorite, but I'm not going to lie to you, Rob. I thought Sari was going to be here. Hey, Boston Rob, isn't he a 17th place? I mean, I'm not saying you, you left out some of the good ones, but... Dear God, I, I thought this would be a, I thought all the 17 placers would be here. Sorry, Zach, Maddie, and Brandon, that yeah, Chappelle, Rob, you're not enough I'm, for Chappelle. I Rob, love this. You are not enough. Yeah. Rob, where is, where is Luke? Yes. <laughs> Which one? Which, Which one? <laughs> DB25, what? Luke, 17th place. I mean, He's, I feel like right. He is in the back of the stream yard. I think, I don't have administrative privileges. Somebody's got to just I, let him. I believe in. he's in the cheese room, if you wanted to mm -hmm. just be very yeah, specific about that yeah that's true but no yeah. rob this Zach, is perfect yeah, ask, ask your brother if he has his contact info still if Come anyone text ever me. murders my brother <laughs> <laughs> here we are uh and what an, an occasion to celebrate with the several teenth placers as a new member just got inducted into the 17th place club just this week as jess became the latest player voted out of the game uh how how have uh you three gone about well like who who deploys like the email newsletter invite besides liz <laughs> I, was gonna, yeah, <laughs> I had to pay liz i had one drafted up but liz you know she yeah. charges a lot it feels like she has a lot of money um i i i took the reins and i said you know welcome what's interesting about the 17 place thing is like you have zach you have maddie you have justine you know a couple funny people you have mm -hmm. me relatively funny and now you, we needed one more to make it like a funny group. And Jess is Jess is the perfect person for it. And now it's a trend. Yeah. What now about Sarah funny. Wilson? Does Sarah she Wilson? just? Oh, is, I was noticing an admission, Brandon. Oh, God. Did she right. block you up? up? 
Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. Listen, she's she's actually in the background also. So we have to let these people in. Sam in the chat in the background. We gotta let them in. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Rob, this is very this is very jam jam energy right now of like oh and we love sarah wilson too <laughs> yes yes don't forget it's not just uh, you three that are 17th placers yeah that's no. true sarah wilson also very funny well, it's, it's a funny group yeah what's funny for me with the 17th place club is that there are in the history of survivor ever since i've been an alum there have been three players who have ever reached out to me before they played Two of Damn. them are sitting right here, <laughs> and the other one is Jessica Chow. Stop okay, it! <laughs> wow. So, okay, so hold on. So that these are the people that reached out to you prior to them going yep. out there. So Zach, where are the people are, I've given? Why well, did are you the drama? That. Are you he the, is the drama? He Wait, no, 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 no. I reached out to Zach when I got back. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You reached oh, out. No, to I had sent you a love letter. Out. I had sent you a love letter. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. 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 wow. I, How dare you? Brandon I, was the one I gave the most advice to. Obviously. <laughs> After like handing my phone to the people, I, I had a text. I sent it to Zach and he just said a picture of Zach and Maddie. He sent a picture of both of them and really? said, don't join us. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said, don't join us. And then that was oh, the last Oh, did I send you that? Wait, can yeah, you yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is that um, when we were in Raleigh? It, yes. How oh yeah, I was there for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Brandon, you saw that picture and you said, "No, actually, I will. I think I will." <laughs> yeah. Goals, move and, board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. was also very brief. I did not like, you know, really. Okay. Uh, Can I her. ask you that? Uh, did did Jess reach out to you with advice, or she was a fan of yours? Jess was. Um, for Jess, it was honestly like she was like, "Hey, um, I know that you like did this show. You obviously didn't do very well." Like, did you still have a positive experience? Yes. Like, was it still, are you still glad you did it? And did you I have was, fun? I was like, Jess, it was still so much fun. There is no chance that you're going to go out there and have a negative experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that what you said? <laughs> yes. Look, Jess, Je Jess is one of my, like, the funniest people I've ever seen on television because of her experience and the way she handled it. Yes. The Rob exit interview with Jess is so iconic. It is a top five exit interview you've ever done. Oh, Because everybody's you, asking. Yeah. No, it wasn't because of you. It was because of Jess. Let me tell you something. She just carried you through that. No, I'm joking, Rob. You did a great <laughs> job. But with Jess, when she says, like, oh, you're, you're like, hey, why wouldn't you play the shot in the dark and the idol? And Jess was like... I was hoping to go home. <laughs> I was hoping that it was fake and then I would go mm -hmm. home and I voted for Banu so I could potentially separate him from these people. I wanted us all to be away from these people. I think she said she hoped a typhoon came in and just washed them away mm -hmm. at some points. This woman, she should be here. She should be like the face of this sev several teeth club because I've never seen anything like that. She did not have a good experience, Zach. I don't know what you did to this woman. But she no, did the exact I, I, opposite of what you said. It's truly a curse, I realized. Like, if you want to go on Survivor, do not DM me. <laughs> you will yeah. get 17th place exactly. Brandon, do uh, you feel like, like that? Did Zach steer you wrong with these? Uh, that you got the most advice from Zach. Do you feel like that your experience somehow was re Zach res was responsible? Well, this is this is not answering that question directly, but Zach did assure me plenty of times. Like I was nervous. I was I was completely nervous. And Zach was like, the fun part happens when you're back. Like, like, like no matter what happens, like you will have so much fun. You're gonna do podcasts, you know. Um, and I think that when I was voted out, I was clearly, you know, bummed that I was out early, but I was so looking forward to the next chapter of that part. And that's that's all Zach. That I, I wouldn't have had that without Zach. Did Zach get me 17th? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. You know, I was thinking of him at the base of the ladder. I'm like, wait, Zach's yeah. message. He what did he he didn't give me advice for this. But no, I the think biggest piece of advice I gave Brandon was one thing I wish I did more, hit the gym. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's so funny. Zach said on the Survivor Academy, I think the last week of Survivor 43, like if you're not getting up at six in the morning and going to the gym, like you're doing it wrong. You have to do that. And then I did that. Oh, didn't help. <laughs> still on club condo. Still well, what, do you, what do you think, Zach? 5 a.m. Is it the right time to go to the gym? 5.45. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do – everyone do five. Brandon, <laughs> Brandon fucked it up. Do, uh, yeah. 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 If you're listening. Go to but your five up against their five, right? Mm -hmm. if, if, That's what you got to do. Going, 
if you're going to have such an iconic exit, like someone like Brandon Donlin, you make sure that you do it for when there's an RHIP live event so that everybody can applaud you and you feel a good, a, like a great sense of community in that moment, as opposed to being at home and having to deal with all those tweets in the real times. Like there's, there are ways to game this. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Brando yeah. had hit my, uh, my phone in his pocket. So this yeah. is a, it was a great night. Maddie, how do you go about <laughs> welcoming a new member to the 17th Placers Club? Well, we have a 17th place group chat. So normally we go by tweet from tweet starting in like their tweets from 2009. And we analyze on a scale of one to 10, like how funny they are, how iconic they're going to be. And then through that vetting process, we decide like, okay. You're they, like the Jedi High Council? Mm -hmm. A little bit. No, we're more like the traders. You guys know what the Jedi High Council is, Rob? I'm really, I'm such a saint for Rob. It's more for the listeners Ma than you, Maddie. <laughs> Maddie, did you see me go, mm-hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. like, I, I, mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking we, about. We, we sent the invite out to Justine, and she was like, I'm good. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm chill. I already have a, a friend that I send messages with back and forth. I don't need you all. <laughs> We were in so I found my person. Yeah. So so Zach, I feel like you're the most tapped in. Who is the uh the most iconic 17th player placer before you that you've actually been in contact with? Oh, uh most iconic 17th placer. I yeah, that you've talked to about me, my family. Well, that's just a connection. Yeah, with yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, yeah, you're basically cousins at this point. But is there anybody yes. that your brother did not play big brother with? I mean, so the thing about 17 placers is that other than New Era, they kind of disappear. Like you don't hear, <laughs> you don't hear too much from, uh, you know, the the randoms. <laughs> I will say that um, Keith Sowell, I met. Oh, oh. Uh, come on, guys. Yeah, he's in Raleigh. Get him on uh, God 101. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. That would be great. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, I love I loved Keith. I thought he was a really nice guy. Rob, when are you coming out with your God podcast? I mean, I try to keep it mostly to talking about Survivor. I feel like that, uh, you know, if we ever had a season, I feel like that there are uh, Survivor seasons kind of like South Pacific that do like veer very heavy into religion. I think that I always thought that that would be like an interesting subject to talk about. But I probably am not the right person to be hosting a podcast. I I'm more of a, of a secular kind of guy. I should host it. Rob has mm -hmm. a God cast. I got it. Let me just <laughs> let me take it. Yeah, I promise. I can do it. I swear. I don't swear to God, but I swear, you know, yeah. I got it. Did yeah. you guys watch well, uh, Carson's episode of God 101? Yes, Carson. With that, You know, we normally on the slop. I talk a lot about Julie Chen Moonves' Instagram show, God 101. And often uh, she has uh, many guests. Was, was Corey Wurdenberger on God 101? Or he was. <laughs> God 101. <laughs> Yeah. Can someone explain God 101 to me? So it doesn't have anything to do with the reality show or it's a passion project where she just wants to It, talk it to is a passion project passion for Ju Julie Chen Moonves. And I think that she has uh, been open about that she, uh, I don't know if I would say that she is uh, born again, I think is, is the incorrect term. But I think she found her spirituality after going through a very difficult situation uh, with her husband and then found this platform of God 101 where she does uh, spiritual chats with uh, the reverend and the deacon and um, also her uh, regular panel of friends that she talks to and occasionally reality TV stars and many of the Big Brother greats have been on there. And most recently, Carson from Survivor 44 appeared with Julie Chen Moonves. Yeah, one of our own. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, well, did you watch? No, I actually missed this one. I was looking for, like, I had it scheduled to, to, to play. You're binging I, the whole season after? Yeah, definitely going to wait and see who are, I, listen, Rob, You let I a few know. pile up? Yeah, I got to. I, I just want to know how the guest list gets decided, because I don't know what made Julie say, you know who I need? Carson. That's who really speaks to this podcast. Uh, no disrespect to Corey, but again, Julie was like, Corey. Come talk to me about God. Is that is that what she kind of does? How, do? Is there anybody else that we're missing from this pantheon of guests that she's just going through now? I really want to understand how Julie thinks about this before she sends out those invites. Yeah, it's a I, great I, question. I will say that I was also like, why Carson? And then I did watch Carson's appearance on God One Hundred and One. Yes, and I've I've seen several episodes of God One Hundred and One. <laughs> wow, uh, Evan Rule. I gotta I gotta say. Uh, Carson is like by far the best guest they've ever had. Like, <laughs> he watched it. it. Yeah. yeah. I've also never seen it. So my like 
viewpoint to God 101 is only the reality people. So Rob, thank you for explaining to me that it's not that it's only once in a blue moon a reality person because I thought this is a lot of times it kind of looks like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, who says yes? <laughs> people are left off. Yeah. I it was at first I saw Carson, I was like, this is random. Like, yeah. like it's like a, a, a bunch of random people. There's a guy named Walt. Yeah. I thought it was I thought it was a big brother exit press thing, but that yeah. she does <laughs> God angle. You can't imagine how confused I was. So well, then she has Carson on, and I listened to it for like 10 minutes, and I was like, he's killing it. Honestly, he's making me believe in God just by listening to him. <laughs> He was talking about science and God and how to like he is able to like mm -hmm. believe both. I was like, shit. Now I know why I got so far into Viber. Very convincing. Yeah. Very my, articulate. My understanding was that this was a part of the exit press. Not everybody on Big Brother gets to do God 101. Is she she she's handpicked? Well, not the sinners. Not <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, Obviously not I think Ju it's Julie might the sinners, put well. the call out to the people that uh, she wants. And I don't know if, if Julie has people or if Carson had people that reached out to Julie Chen Moonves. But yeah, it did seem a little bit off her radar. Yeah. No, Julie looked like or she her sodar. Her <laughs> yeah. uh, I would love for Carson to just screenshot his DMs and send them to Julie Chen and see if she just burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> just to see. Yeah. Just yeah to is, see. is Julie a uh, like a subscriber? <laughs> yeah. okay all right so we welcome jess to the 17th placers club yes. um, okay all right so uh 17th placers uh how, how are we feeling about survivor 46 so far so far 46 has been four hours so far and you can feel it it's uh <laughs> it's, it's pretty lengthy this last episode was it was long it was yes. really long yes. Did Love you have a, a favorite moment from this episode, Brandon? I, yes, I do. And I, I, I love Liz. I love Liz. Liz yes. is, Liz is, Liz is Lulu coded. Liz, Liz would have <laughs> hung out with us and we would have had so much fun. Yes, yeah. I Liz, and Liz was like 17th because in addition, <laughs> yeah. like if it had to be two people, Jess or Liz. So we, yes. we made out, we got Jess, we, but we did good. This would have fit in perfectly. The, the yelling, yes, you can during the puzzle. I yes. think it's the hardest I've laughed at Survivor. In years, like many, many years. It's so funny. This the guttural scream after they win. She screams and then Soda screams. It's so funny. It's objectively yeah. so funny. Yeah. She screams with vigor as she participated in the chat. She denied. <laughs> She's so not. She's, you know, but she is great. Do you and feel I'm, like she willed them to that victory? Well, you know, I feel like when they were putting the puzzles there, they were saying in their heads, like, no, we can't. Right. Mm -hmm. And if you mm -hmm. hear somebody saying, you know, yes, we yeah. can it's going to come together for, you know, persistence. That's what, that's what the name I of the think game that is. They might've been the ones who were doing the work, but Liz was the one who sold them the strategy mm. that would allow them to succeed in this. Yeah. 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 I want to, I want to be in Liz's will. I do. I do. Well, cause, well hold on yeah. back up Chappelle. Cause uh, that Liz said she is, they asked Liz, would you date? And she said, well, you know, I'm looking for a man who has to be comfortable with the fact that I am very, wealthy and it, it, they have to be they have to be okay with that mm -hmm. liz dollars liz paper stacks liz liz money liz liz money money dollar sign cash i listen i'm here liz hi liz, I'm, I'm comfortable liz, I'm being too. poor yeah like listen uh, please take care of me I, oh, wait, are, are, wait, are you two ready for some kind of like liz bachelorette no yes. it's more like liz sugar mama sugar baby me down I'm I'm ready. Y yes, you can, Liz. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not I don't, me. I don't, I don't see you because of your money, Liz. I see the beautiful human that you are. I and... see the money, and I'm comfortable with that, with the money, with the money. I'll sign a yeah. prenup. Yeah. Zach, would you be comfortable dating Liz that knowing that she is the breadwinner? Yes, I would be comfortable dating you, Liz. Um, I think that I've had millionaires attracted to me before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's certainly something I am. You're okay with that? I'm very comfortable with it. So, you know, my DMs are open. Um, your DMs are open. I've sent several messages. <laughs> so, any, anytime, anywhere, any place. I've just been sending Venmo requests. I, I don't know about any DMs, but I'm just like, please, 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 God. Dear God 101, please help. Please send something. Uh, Liz, I love that Liz's natural reaction to any question is, but I'm rich, though. 
I'm not the money, y'all. It's poor people talking. I, Liz Dallas, this is one of the, my favorite characters of the season. He, yeah, she should definitely be here because then she could give us all money as the 17th Thurs, you know? It's right. definitely been interesting that in two episodes, Maddie, that this is like what they've shown us about Liz. Paper. I know. And for me, like, you, you're drawn to the players that you feel like you're like. And having come back from Survivor with 17th place money, I sort of identify with Liz. Like, I got <laughs> Me, people are treating me differently. I had to have that financial conversation with my boyfriend and be like, are you comfortable now that I'm wealthy <laughs> being around all this power? Mm -hmm. So I actually want to raise something. What if Liz is doing this on purpose? What if she's yeah. trying to come off at like, it just seems interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The reverse Mike White. You know, she's like, I'm just here for the experience, y'all. I just, <laughs> I'm rich. I don't know what to tell. I don't need the money. Take me to the end. No one's going to give it to me. And then at the end, she's like, I'm broke, actually. I played a great, amazing great. And I have no money. I actually have no money. I'm not giving any money to charity because I'm poor. I'm poor. It's not, I'm, <laughs> but how do you know? How do you know the difference between Liz and Mariah besides Liz's massive paper stacks that she stands on every episode? <laughs> If she makes it to the end, how does she dif differentiate herself unless she keeps saying, I'm rich, I'm the wealthy one? It's like no. uh, the parent trap with Lindsay Lohan's or, yeah, you know how they, like, well, one of them had money. It, yeah, that's what it is. Like, uh, these movies, it's always when the twins switch, it's always they go from, like, one is poor and one is rich. Maybe Liz might want to go, uh, I, I don't know about Mariah's finances, but I don't know how many businesses uh, she has. But maybe that if they ever want to switch, that's maybe yeah. what it'll take. For, like yeah. Liz needs to go switch with Mariah so she could find a man that likes her for her. There you go. Wow. There you go. Yeah. Wow. yeah. It's uh the, the the parent trap, uh the, what is it? It takes two or something like yes. that. Yeah. Coming Mar to Mariah's Paramount Plus this summer. <laughs> yeah. Mariah's at home playing stickball. Um uh, Liz is uh, learning chopsticks, you know, it, it then they switch and then she gets to see what the other side looks looks like. I'm telling you, Survivor knew what they were doing when they cast both these women, because why are they showing us that scene of them being like, hi, I'm Liz, I'm Mariah. That girl mm -hmm. has my face. Like, why did you show that to us? We've uh, never seen glasses. that before. Yeah, it's like, wow, your glasses look like, like almost like mine, except mine are rich. And <laughs> my, my theory on it is that, uh, you know, Survivor sometimes messes up, like with Jackson on my season, like they shouldn't have put him in, like they last minute had to like put him in and then they ended up having to pull him out. I think something probably similar happens, but they didn't make the mistake this time. They were like, we're getting this person out. And then I think that they're using some AI magic. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. They actually don't look alike. No, I'm saying like to have them double like the same person on both tribes. Mm -hmm. They're like, mm -hmm. really, you know, uh, you using some some CGI here, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially on the, on the bench. You could see the the flicker. Yeah. <laughs> count, count Mariah's fingers, okay? You're going to see it. <laughs> Yeah, and the teeth. Work. Check the teeth also. And yeah. the teeth. Yeah. And the pocketbook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because she's because right. Liz is rich, Rob. I don't know if you caught that. That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Um, one of the big moments in this episode this week, a very exciting scene that Ben and Charlie were able to have uh, a climactic face-off in this episode where they battled Metallica songs versus Taylor Swift songs. Maddie, were you on the edge of your seat? No. This is like one of my least favorite things that Survivor does. Sorry to be negative. But I feel like last season we got boys night. Boys night. They're so silly. The boys, they're being boys. And then this season we have like, oh, Ben and Charlie, they're being so silly. The boys are being boys going back. From, uh, it was very cute. Okay. Yeah. But like trend of it all, I'm like kind of tired of it. It's like the boys are silly mm -hmm. and the girls are gaming. And the boys yeah. are silly. Maddie, I, I have a podcast you're really going to hate. Wait, <laughs> I don't listen to podcasts. It, it's called this one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, it's us, the silly boys. <laughs> Let's get boys serious, night. guys. Maddie, All right. Yeah, Maddie, All right. we got, we Zach, got girls break down this it. vote. Yeah. Well, I think, Maddie, we got girls night in this episode on the Purple Tribe when they were like, mm -hmm. we hate Jess. Jess. Yeah. <laughs> No, we don't like it. Yes. I yeah. thought it was cute. I thought the back and forth was cute. That's it. Okay. I do think, as like a Survivor super fan, every super fan dreams of having like a montage that's just twenty seven minutes with no cuts. You know, and they, okay. it was it was lengthy. It was a lengthy back and forth. But 
I'm glad yeah. everybody, you know, they, they came out on top, both of them. Well, Chappelle, you know that Charlie won the battle, but to me, I'm far less impressed with Charlie. Like Charlie knows Taylor Swift. This we know. He tells mm -hmm. us constantly. He knows Taylor Swift. I get the sense that Ben, you, name uh, 12 other bands. Ben's going to go a hundred songs deep that, I mean, basically Charlie's like, all right, who wants to challenge me in Taylor Swift songs tomorrow? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Like if there's a round two, there's nothing Charlie can do. He can, <laughs> he still has to go with Taylor Swift and Ben could switch to different uh, like artists, different genres probably, and, and just run away with it. But Charlie knew exactly what he was doing. He named his game. He's like, uh, yeah. Uh, He's a hustler. Taylor Swift. Yeah. Aggressor. He's like, Taylor Swift yeah. songs. Anybody, anybody, <laughs> nobody, no, anybody. Your favorites is my thing, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, um, at, at some point, these people wouldn't even know if he was making up the song titles. He's mm -hmm. like, uh, "Yeah, remember when Taylor Swift dropped Crazy in Love?" And everybody's like, "Yeah, I remember that." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dang, he's got another one. That's wild. He's like, "Yeah, uh, yeah, um, True Colors, the Taylor Swift version." Like, "Yep, ten minute version." Even I mm -hmm. seen, heard it, heard it, seen it. Favorite song. He could have done that for years, and I would have been like this, nodding my head, like, "Oh wow, so good." That, that Charlie, he knows it. I don't know if this is something that he can use in the game, but they definitely made us watch every second of it. Hmm. What, did, Chappelle, did you like it? No, I was so bored. I don't like, I don't, I, bruh, I, it's just like, you give us two hour episodes and decide 20 minutes of it is going to be that. And then, and then you drop secret scenes where you're like, oh, well, that's interesting. I would yeah. love to know that that conversation happened, but I definitely needed to know that, you know, Charlie got um, all too well and all too well, 10 minute version. Like, they got to know over those. So I was like, okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for I that. Just, I think it's so funny that they're clearly like, Survivor's clearly angling for that Taylor Swift bump. Like, that's what they're doing this all for. They want to get the Swifties. They want to get Taylor to acknowledge them. And meanwhile, you've got Metallica reaching out. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about that. Okay. So um, we had the battle of Taylor Swift versus Metallica. And that Ben said, okay, well, the reason why that he didn't do as well is that he doesn't care as much about the Metallica albums that suck. He really only mm. listens to the Metallica albums that are good. And Charlie adds in, well, there are no Taylor Swift albums that suck. Everything Taylor Swift does is good. Um, whereas I think Ben trying to keep it real a little bit more, but it backfired because uh, check this out. We've got here... Um, here is uh, Ben had an interaction that he shared and he got a message from Metallica and uh, Ben start Ben shares this. He's and by far the craziest DM I will ever receive from Metallica who wrote to him and said, and you didn't let us down until you said some of our albums are terrible, <laughs> but, but we <laughs> guess you've earned our support anyway. Dot, dot, dot. Best of luck. <laughs> You're praying funny. on your downfall, Ben. <laughs> So yeah. what's funny about I, this... He pissed is, off Metallica. No, what's funny about this is I literally have met the guy who runs the Metallica Instagram account. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. He's uh, Claire Rafson's friend. Okay. Claire Rafson knew this Eric guy. X? Yeah, I was. I remember meeting him, and I was like, oh, hey. like uh, <laughs> That's Claire Rafson. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, what do you do? He's like, oh, I do social oh. media. What'd you say? <laughs> Rob yeah. had the wrong Claire. <laughs> wrong, wrong Claire. <laughs> oh. But yeah, he, oh, Derek X hit. Uh, ah. he's like, oh, I run social media. And I'm like, oh, for what? He's like, oh, for Metallica. So I know this guy. Mm -hmm. So it's not even really them. No, it's not. But do you think they told, he told Metallica? Do you think he told yeah. Lars? Sure. He like, definitely hey, did. Lars, he's guess what? He's the master of puppets. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Is that Metallica? This is all over my head. Yeah. But I relate to Ben because I feel that way. You got to keep it real. There's not all Survivor seasons are created equally. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Charlie's no. wrong. Some Taylor Swift albums are bad. And I'm sure I've never listened to Metallica, despite everything about my appearance pointing to that I would. <laughs> <laughs> but I that, bet are, are you a giving goth. Metallica fan? Don't. I, I'm a goth. But that's what they are, right? <laughs> It's like, this is what I do. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, I wasn't picking that up. <laughs> this one time I was walking around New York and then I walked into a bar because I thought my friends were in there and it was a full goth bar and I was the only person in there that wasn't a goth. 
And I then I left. And then I got to the sidewalk and I said to the bouncer, why'd you let me in? And he was like, what do you mean? I was like, I'm not a goth like everyone in there. And he was like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, well, can I go back in? And he was like, yeah, sure. And then I went back in and I spent an entire night with a bunch of goths. <laughs> well, anyway, Ben, if you want to hang out, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I might well, be a god. <laughs> Maddie, what's your superpower then? What's the thing that you could name the most of obscure thing? Um, well, probably the only thing is probably Survivor, which is sad. Hmm. Yeah. Really? Um, what's yours, Rob? Unfortunately, like uh, my life is uh, like an inch wide <laughs> and a mile deep. Mm. So, so Survivor, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm assuming Brandon as well, right? I mean, I can do Survivor. I can do I can do American Idol. I can do. I, I, well, you, you can mean, name American I Idol contestants. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I could do it too. I mean, okay. But, I, but I think the game is you have to name different things. Oh no! I was gonna say I could. Yeah, uh, Brandon pick American Idol season one. I pick season two. No, I'm joking. Uh, Zach, <laughs> you're you're also a Survivor guy. Listen, how many uh, how many 17th places can do. you name? I, uh, Brandon oh, can do them all. I can. Yeah. I can do them all, which all would be less fun. Yeah. yeah, not if you go up against Rob. Uh, I still think it's not that exciting. I, <laughs> I was like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. I, would, if I had to choose an artist. I would do uh, Billy Joel, by the way. As oh, okay. There. I Rob, could you, you know? could you name I love Billy more Joel. than Rob, Zach? But that's not the game. I yeah. know, but I mean, the game is hard enough. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. There's how we would. Game. This is, it's yeah. the game. Mm -hmm. the game within the game. Changing. Yes. Yeah. Really yeah. Yes. How the game is played. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, you pick your pony. It's like you pick your favorite thing. You pick your favorite thing, and they go up against each other. I just feel like Rob and Zach's favorite thing probably a lot. You know, yeah, I think I Rob. Mean, probably, I, I, yeah. I would be up for. Do you want to go back and forth to uh, name Billy Joel? So will we lose the listening the audiences? Podcast. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Let's yeah. circle back to that. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> like, okay. Like the episode Maddie, of Survivor. Re remind us if we're having a, a low moment in the podcast. If wait, it gets why? boring, we'll yeah. have a way to make it more boring. Am I? Am I the, wait, why? Because <laughs> you said that it was the, yeah. the boring scene in the episode. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a Jess moment because Jess was tired in Survivor and I worked 80 hours this week and I'm fucking tired. Oh, it, only and 80 probably, hours this week? This is like when Liz is, said. Wait, you, you she did only 300 podcasts in the last two years. And I said, relatable. How cute. <laughs> yeah. Step it up. <laughs> Hold yes. my beer. Can you leave yes. this in the podcast? Of course. I'm very honored to be here. Every time Rob invites me to come to the podcast, I'm very honored because I love Rob and I love yes. I, I love Chappelle. Everybody knows I love Chappelle. I love Chappelle. I love Zach. Love yes. Is there a butt coming? But. I want to lay down and I <laughs> can I do this? That's podcast? fine. As long as you, the listeners know you want to go lay down on the podcast. Yeah. And Rob said that he didn't think the listeners would like you to lay down on the podcast. I want her to lay down. That's fine. Yeah, lay down. We should vote. I mean, we should, like, I think it's, you know, we should I probably vote, lay down. Uh, Maddie's going to be, Maddie's going to be in her exit press after this podcast being like, it was torture every moment. <laughs> <laughs> I won't, yeah. but you, if that's, if that's down. your decision yeah. to be interviewed, laying down, you, you may. I'm, my back is so tired. <laughs> it's the mm -hmm. 17th place club. Like, what are we, what are we being precious about? Yeah, I'm having this is what fun I came here for. I'm okay. going to stay. Yes. I'm supposed to go with my friends, but I'm going to stay because I'm having fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, the way we were happy to have you here, Maddie. Yeah. Thanks, Rob. Even though we were counting on the boys' night, we were gonna leave and we were gonna <laughs> yeah. turn it up. Is yeah. that what you guys really want? No. 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 I, I would <laughs> no. never thrive in a boys' night. Yeah. It's no. so much better for me that you're here. Are, no. you guys, are you guys 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 or girls guys or like like Charlie's a girls guy? Yeah. I Is he? A girls guy. Yeah, Maddie, you've hung out with me quite a few. You, yeah. yeah. You know the deal with the girls guy. What about you? Yeah. Sabelle? I'm a girls guy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Rob. you know me, guys, guy, all the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I roll. One yeah, thing, Ben Rob. In my interviews for the three days I was on Survivor, they kept trying to get me to say I was a guys girl, and I was like, "You'll have to kill me." Before <laughs> I, uh -huh. I was like, "Take that little 
twig off the ground and shove it through my neck. I won't say it. Mm -hmm. And then Maddie proceeded to target the biggest guy on the entire cast the first episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, yeah, watch me. They yeah, they, like, they, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. I forgot it almost worked. They, Maddie, they asked me, they were like, have you, what about, there was a talk of a guy's alliance. Do you think that's a possibility? And I was like, me, Roxroy, and Romeo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, the boys, boys. would work out. <laughs> Call that alliance the boys. And I think it's going straight to the end. Yeah. So this week, our uh, new honorary 17th placer, uh, when she did her exit press, she showed us uh, some of her new merch uh, that's out there. She has a uh, brand new merch store, a uh, very popular thing to do here in the new era. Mm -hmm. um, she has the uh, Jessica Chomp, uh, a lot of Jess eating the ants, which... Uh, is, is really incredible because I don't know how she knew that was going to be in the episode. Uh, that, that could have been easily left on the cutting room floor. Yeah. And then I don't know if she had these ready to go or what, but here we go. We have some uh, Jess eating the ants merch. Uh, did any of you in your time on Survivor have a chance to eat any insects? I think that's like a day yes. five thing. Only Brandon can speak to that. Right? And I, I, I did eat a worm. I think it was just, I, w I was there and I think I had like an hour left and I was like, you know what? I should probably just eat. I think Emily was there when I think I ate a worm. Um, and it was fine. I mean, it was, you know, it, it yeah. tastes like what you imagine a worm tastes like. It's nothing, nothing to write home about. It mm -hmm. tastes like dirt. That's the issue. It tastes like, like you're dirt. You're not yeah. tasting the worm. You're tasting the dirt. Yeah. You ate a worm? You really I ate, ate a worm within, within an hour. It, it does. <laughs> I see. I see it. It seems like a day one thing to me. I feel like that people, they get on the, they're like, we're here. Let's eat crickets. Let's do it. Termites. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. tiptoeing into Survivor. You got it. It's kind of like you have to dive in head first. That's, that's how you get adjusted. You go, go ahead, eat the bug, get it out the way. And then you kind of can let the nerves out. But yeah, I think Brandon did it wrong. You don't do it at the end when you're like, oh, I'm probably about to go. You got to come straight out the, out the gate, grab the first bug you see and just swallow it. I, I had an eventful day one, you know, yeah. <laughs> I, to camp. I kind of just, I was like, you know what? I did a couple of things that I had rather just, you know, get a space out the events that I you, do. You had a lot going on. I had a lot going on. I was not yeah. eating bugs till you went on Survivor. That was the first time. Yeah. You, when, when were you what? eating? Maryland? No, me, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I maybe had like, like those packaged crickets, like, you know, they'll sell like oh. crickets or yeah. something like that. I was, Have you done that? No. I didn't know that was a thing. They put in crickets in packages. Yeah, it's like the like barbecue. It's like barbecue flavored or like sour cream and onion. Like huh. it's not like a regular. I'm not going to like Trader Joe's and being like, oh yeah, like what crickets do you have in stock? Uh, it's okay. Maybe what's the difference? I don't know why it sounds less appealing that it's sour cream and onion. I feel like I'd right. rather have cricket at that yeah. point. Yeah, raw cricket, raw ass <laughs> cricket. I don't, I don't, don't, I don't need it dressed up in all kinds of stuff. I mean, I've never had cricket, but I would assume just natural cricket flavor is good enough for me. Okay. No, it sounds so good, like salt. Yeah, kind of. When you say it like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have mesquite, mosquito, <laughs> mosquito. <laughs> Rob, 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 would you eat a mosquito? That you crack yourself up. Like, yeah. such, yeah. I just love it. <laughs> um, I, I think a mosquito would be so small. I don't even know if you would. I think I, I, you've probably eaten a mosquito if you ever rode a bicycle before. Yeah. Yeah. It's I would never. It's a revenge thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Show them who's bought payback. Yeah, yeah. You bite me, I'm going to bite you. That's it. That part. Yeah. All right. Um, I would love to talk about a scene that I don't think I've ever uh, seen this, at least not recently in Survivor history. So with the, the teams showed up at the challenge. And of course, Jeff likes to say like, all right, let's get a look at the new uh, the new Yano tribe. Uh, Jelinski voted out of the last tribal council. And then Jelinski got roasted in a way that I don't ever recall the other tribes talking crap about a person who had been voted out i feel like that if anything they would, oh not zach we loved zach uh not not zach from ika but this was this was unusual i thought whoa <laughs> legendary last name first out oh. Oh. <laughs> i said last name first did you hear out. i said last name first out i guess did you get several it several reasons you guys voted <laughs> 
um, more than several. There was more than seven. Who's more than seven. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. The jokes okay. keep coming. The jokes keep coming. Now, interestingly, just like a little like strategic uh, thing on that. That so, I thought it was very interesting. Kenzie is piling on. Like the other tribes are making fun of Jelinski's not there, and Kenzie like jumps right into like jumping in on the jokes of like making fun of. Uh, Jelinski not being there. I do think that that does speak to her personality of like, hey, like I'm in with you guys. Like, uh, the, like what, what, what her cue is like, I don't think it's funny. You know, uh, Ken, I noticed that Kenzie is like very quick to jump in on the joke with everybody. But have you all ever seen that before where the other tribes are roasting the person who got voted out? The only time I can remember it is, didn't they like applaud Russell Hans getting voted out in, uh, <laughs> in Redemption I Island? Was it was that not 17th place? Is that was 17th place. <laughs> there you go. Look, yes, Brandon, you were in a group chat with Russell, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Russell, Brandon. yeah, Russell and I, I don't know. We don't see eye to eye as much. I'll have to ask him that the next time we uh we chat. But <laughs> yes. I am, you know, he's a friend of mine. Um, yeah, it's a it's a weird thing. I mean, Jelinski, not for anything, like while we're here, Jelinski is a legend. The guy's Legendary. a legend. Yeah. The guy he absolutely is. he'll be him. mentioned on season 50, he'll be mentioned <laughs> on season 55. Like he might be there. Jelinski is a legend. The guy's a uh, legend. He redefined a word like genuinely. I will not use the word several in contact context that don't relate to seven anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, he might have changed the meaning of legendary as well. <laughs> I, you know, no, legendary. Um, no, but I I stand here, the man who was championing uh, Jelinski last episode of this podcast, and I stand by it. He said it. He called his shot. He said. And people laugh. People people told him that he was tripping. They said, Jelinski, oh yeah, sure, they named the, they were trying to name the merge tribe after you. Sure, they talked about you uh, well after you were voted out. We saw proof of it here. Like the moment they say Jelinski voted out, the other tribe says legendary. They haven't heard this podcast. They mm -hmm. weren't listening to the confessionals. So they have, that's already permeating throughout the other tribes. Okay, now the roasting, it's a little much for me because let's yeah. let's be very clear. I need a job. So don't do that and try to get this position on, on this podcast talking shit about Jelinski. That's kind of my thing. Uh, but I, I thought it was weird. I did. I, I do agree with you about Kenzie. Um, Cause she very much laughed her way into the merge tribe that quickly. She's like, <laughs> wouldn't it be great if we talked about this in like I don't know two weeks when uh, we're all working together? Yeah. And fuck these guys. You know? If you think that's good, I've got so much more. <laughs> right. Make sure Can't I... wait to work with you. At Call the me. Merge. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. She knew the game. Yeah. It's interesting though. Did Jelinski in the Matt chat say that he was a legend also? Because that how do the other tribes know that Jelinski is a legend? Because they saw him. <laughs> they shared they shared this game with him, Rob. What do you mean? How did they know? He walked out and they said, legend, legend. When you're, when you're in the presence of it, it's hard to ignore. You, you, you How could you it? miss it? It radiates it. And mm -hmm. during those during those match chats, too, like you really that's all you see of the other players. So you hang on to like literally anything that you get, anything that anyone does that's like notable. Like for my tribe, I remember we hated the orange tribe. We like that was the one because we were like, we were like. Marianne's crazy and she's just like doing everything and they have Jonathan and Jonathan sucks mm -hmm. and like that's so unfair <laughs> they have Jonathan yeah and we were just like so those were like our villains so I feel like all Jelinski had to do was that several comment and he's yeah. like basically dead to the rest of the tribes as a quick aside on the Jonathan as somebody who's like a keen observer of survivor social media Ha has Jonathan been adopted as the fifth Mariano child? I think so. I feel like he's at, he's just like uh, constantly like at Boston Rob's house. Well, they live near each other. Yes. So it's not like they're like rendezvousing to. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Another 17th placer. There you go. Boston yeah. Rob. Boston Rob. I, yeah. How many yeah. can we name? Of course. This, yeah. is, this is an name all exclusive of them. club, I'm realizing. Mm -hmm. so many, Russell, yeah. Boston Rob, Rudy. Yeah. Malcolm. Malcolm. Yeah. Wow. Garner. Bean win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so wow. many. So many luminaries. <laughs> yeah, that part. Rob, um, this was interesting. I, I I think that even with Zach saying that they hated the, you know, the orange tribe because Marianne and stuff where they were doing too much and all this other stuff. Meanwhile, Marianne's talking about how she's gonna marry Zach in the meantime. Like there's a lot going on for you I to get that. Her. I didn't hate her, obviously. My very mean tribe mates. Yeah, mm -hmm. you you weren't like, yeah, screw yeah. her. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, but this was interesting. You know, Hunter had to make sure that we heard his joke as well. You know, you get it? Last name, first one. I, I don't really know what that means. 
last name first out. And he was like, oh, oh shit. Oh, you heard it? Bitch, do it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's no, I, mean, I don't even think that's that great a dick. It didn't yeah. feel like one either. Yeah. For the record, it would have killed on Andy Griffith's show. <laughs> yeah, that part. Absolutely. Yeah, it didn't even seem like it. It more is, is an observation than it is a dig. I feel like Charlie's like, is a dig. You know, that's just, it is true. If yeah, we want to like, dig, we're going to soda. Well, <laughs> like, yeah. What'd she say? Yeah. She's, How's the food? Yeah, I have that As clip. Okay, so Q, so Q then was like, look, I'm not laughing. And then... I, I I'm not really sure why she took offense to this because uh, unless there was more to this, he's like, Something I'm not laughing. Let's let's put up on my five against your five. Soda, he's slinging it right back at you. Make fun all you want. Let's go. I can catch it. That's fine. And I like it. You're back. You're gonna see five five. Here we go. How's the food? And every, they oh! went nuts over the. Oh, oh, the food. Oh, oh, so he started it. He started it. Oh, yeah. God. It's food time, baby. What food right. do they have? No, they're right. on the they... beach. The beach, that beach has no food, and everybody knows. There's everybody no knows food. that's a thing. That the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's yeah. a thing. It's like a thing. Beach... Zach, were you... which beach were you on? I was on the. Me and Brandon were both on the current uh, Green Tribes beach. Yes, yes, okay. which has yeah. food. Yes, Ratu was wow. on the season 44 merge beach and everybody got to merge and was like there's no food on that beach i'm like yeah there was no food so day it's two. so well known by the contestants of which beach is which yeah that- i knew immediately which one i was on i was like oh this is the winners that wore uh swap beach like i just was able to know from watching the show wow there yeah. it's oh. it's so well known that jess had already had her merch made because she knew people were going to see her eat ants she's like <laughs> there, there's no food here there's nothing. I she, the merch was made before she went out on the show. She's like, "Well, <laughs> ants are coming." Wow! Chomp, chomp. Yeah. I give you all knew this. I, I I feel like Banu. Oh, I feel like a fool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's one of the things that you catch when you do the show because it's, it's literally just the same place over and over again. Uh, I my theory has always been that they put what they believe to be the physically weakest tribe on the beach with the most food. That was the one that Uwa had. That was the one that I had. That was Coco, which was stronger. But then it was Tika was that beach. Lulu was that beach. And then Sika, which the entire tribe is like 5'8 max, mm-hmm. is each, the, the ones that they gave that. And I think that they were expecting Sika personally to be the disaster tribe, not realizing how much of a disaster Yanu was going to be. Yeah. Huh. Okay. It, it, it feels like this soda dig came from Jeff, though. Jeff really, unless there's something edited out of this whole interaction q says like yeah we were we didn't have the strongest six but let's see if we have the strongest five and jeff's like soda did you hear that he's telling you to take that shit and shove it up your ass and then she's like oh well let me tell you about yourself and jeff's like you hear that that's how it is on the match chat like no that's not what he said at all he literally said like um you know let's compete and see what happens but she took that completely different and i think so did jeff if you play it back he's like oh he said um if you can dish it out soda what's up i was like jeff not- is not being soft anymore he's no got he cut nice. back you play in the nice. jeff is soft era mm-hmm. he's changed it up man. now i did he was he-, he was so proud of me for losing survivor it was really <laughs> so cool. it's over it's over yeah, I mean- when we lost the challenge, he was like, you guys may have lost, but don't you feel like you've won? <laughs> I pushed yeah. yourself so hard. And I yeah. was like, no, no, I don't. He had a knife last season. Sean hadn't quit yet. Yeah. yeah. Sean <laughs> broke <him. laughs> that broke him. It, yeah. it broke a lot of us. The Amazon yeah. primed a knife. He has night. said that a lot about how like, you know what? The quitters last season, that was my wake up call. I realized I'm too soft on these people. Mm-hmm. Did he say that? Yes. A couple oh, wow. times. Yeah. Yeah, most recently on the On wow. Fire podcast yeah. this week. Oh, wow. You know who mm-hmm. he wasn't off to, by the way? Uh, the 43 cast during the entire... <laughs> from, yes. From beginning to end. <laughs> yeah, he was literally in interviews being like, yeah, we whiffed it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was <laughs> after the show. That wasn't exactly. out there on the island. Yeah. See, so they, I, they like broke them, yeah. I want I want everyone to be real. So I like that. I feel bad for the 43 cast because I actually think that as individuals, they're very interesting for whatever reason, as a collective, like it didn't make the best TV. And I like that everybody was like, we recognize that. Like Owen, before, I think his season had just started airing and we were talking. And he was like, I think that your cast is like more interesting and dynamic than ours. He said that. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, just, it's not like, oh. 
any individual's problem. So I don't know, just call, call uh, I don't know, what, the kettle black, something like that. Wow. No. I, I wonder why I wonder why Owen would have a bone to pick with the 43 cast. <laughs> like, yeah, those people suck. All of those people who did not make the final three, just don't yeah. trust them. They're not dynamic mm -hmm. at all. <laughs> just, I, I agree with Jeff. Those people, they just bad taste, all of them. Yeah, I, I can why imagine does, Owen has some things to say. Why does this season feel so um, more like... Negative? Yes. What, what do you guess. mean? What's the, what's the negative that you're feeling? Well, Jeff has been I calling it vicious. Negative. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, negative is not actually the right word. I do think vicious is the right word because it's entertaining. I like it. And like, I do want people to break necks, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, they're, like, is yeah, that what you're saying? Bloodthirsty, cutthroat, vicious, uh, mm -hmm. mean, maybe. Yeah, I, I, the jazz stuff. I, I was looking at the internet. People did not love it. People felt like it was mean spirited. You know, people felt like, oh well. But were are you those making... the same people complaining that Jeff said no more villains on the show? How yes. many of those? Yeah. Like, you know, I need a, I need a one to one. Like, what's the over? What's the Venn diagram of people that went nuts that Jeff said no more villains on the show, and people that were upset about how Jess was treated this week? Like, what's Rob, the have, overlap? Yeah. You have wives and you have grandmas. <laughs> And then there's there's this, okay? Yes. You have two types of people out here, wives and grandmas. We talked about this at some point. This is the this is the, this is the connect. You see it? You mm -hmm. See it? So like, mm -hmm. like wives and grandmas, that's what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, Tell I us all the time. That, I think that um where people were maybe upset because obviously, like, yes, we want villains and stuff. And like I think where people were upset was because it was with Jess. Mm -hmm. It felt very like like Mike Tyson versus Logan Sick Paul. Baby. <laughs> Logan. Mm -hmm. It was very like uh, you know, it was very no, it uh, was overkill. It was they general, they did so. not they did too much. They did not need to, they did not need to do that. But you know, as as players in the new era, like do you have to like cover all of your bases like that? Maybe you should. <laughs> maybe you should <laughs> maybe you should no, I, think, I, mean, I, I think you should the part that annoyed me as a viewer was I, di I didn't actually care at all about the idol stuff like I didn't think that was too far or anything I was just annoyed when they were blaming her for the challenge completely because I was like you all sucked at that every mm -hmm. single person who played that challenge sucked at that so for them to like kind of go back yeah. and be like Jess screwed us there that's where I was like you know own own your own and mom. you all decided okay let's get rid of Jelinski Mm -hmm. And yeah. keep Jess. Like, yeah. That's your decision, not Jess's decision. That was your decision. Okay. Eight foot wingspan. This guy's got. He's got yeah, I think said seven foot. I think it's seven foot. <laughs> uh, like this was. It, it's rare that you have like the exact challenge that a person would be perfect for. Like immediately after you vote them out. So one thing: look in the mirror before you get mad with Jess. <laughs> I, I think Jess just did not did not necessarily say like, hey, like uh. Look, if she wanted to leave by day five, I'm not sure if she wanted to leave on day three, but that's their fault more than Jess's. Well, I was like, could right. they have her in a different part of the challenge? I just don't like my pet peeve with survivors' excuses. And like mm -hmm. in the alumni community, when everybody loves to talk about what happened to them and playing it back, and everyone has an excuse, and it's so annoying because yeah. there's there's always something that you can do different. So like Jess could have been placed maybe more on the side because it went like mm -hmm. this. No yeah. talk of that. Poor strategy. Like it wasn't her fault. Like, she's not the strongest. So put her on the side. Duh. Mm -hmm. She also hasn't eaten or slept in days. You know that's why she was like, I just want the ants to come carry me away. Rob, that interview was so good. Yeah, but I yeah, I think they're they're mad at the wrong person. And I think it does look. It, people were saying bullying. I wouldn't call it that, but it definitely felt like you know she's basically defenseless. She's telling you like, bro, like you give her this idol. She's like, bro, I. I it's hell. This not. This is not. This is what. What the hell are you doing? Like, bro. Like, and then my favorite part of her confronting them about the idol was her telling Q, "Look me in the eye and tell me that this is that this is real." And him going, "Well, just give it back. Damn hell, I tried to help you. Just give it back." I was like, "He did. He's. You see, he did not do it. He was like, just give it to me. Just get. You, you, I'm trying to save you, baby. Are you? Are you really? Mm -hmm. They wanted to drag her around the idol. To, I mean, the island to look for an idol. They walk her to the wall. She's like, I didn't want to look for the idol. I, I, leave me alone. I just want to just vote me out, yeah. please. But 
it's just very disingenuous that all the people in the tribe are saying, like, we need to find you an idol. You're going to get voted out. Could she just say, please, then just how about you how about all just don't, don't vote me out? out. Right. The, the three people that are making me look for an idol to you three, <laughs> I ask of you, just I've got a new <laughs> idea, new plan. Just okay. don't vote me out. Yeah. Yeah, that's very much what it is. I mean, every person in the tribe is saying, "We got, I gotta save you because they're gonna get you." It's like, who is they? <laughs> Them. You know, like they're coming for you, baby. You need this. Mm -hmm. You need this idol. Go look over there. Matter of fact, Q yeah. has it. Just go get it from him. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's no majority to vote her out because everybody's voting her out. There's not. There's no idol that can save this woman. Um, and she knew it. That's why it looked mean spirited. It's because like, just leave her alone. Mm -hmm. you know, like, there's no point in throwing salt in the wound. Let's talk about the tribal council ultimately where uh, wow. Jess. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. I can't let you go on. Can we, can, I've just been dying to ask you this. Why does Soda keep snatching this idol away from Venus? And mm -hmm. I would pay good money to see her do it one third time. I would just love to see yeah. because the sports center replay that we got this episode yes. of her doing it the first time. And then the second time and Venus snatching it back. I'm just like, fight, just do it. Just fight. Does anybody do have a theory why Soda doesn't want Venus to have the idol? Does she feel like that in some way she has not contributed enough to the victory to hold it? I don't know. Does Soda I, have a special relationship with the idol? I see. I read that as Soda is a kindergarten teacher and she's used to making people share. So she like tries to take it and like divvy it out. Like, here you go. Here, everybody touch it. Da, 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 da. But Venus is not reading it like that. Well, I, I, I I would have loved to see Soda try this with Maddie. Maddie, would how would you have reacted if this is you? I, mm. <laughs> what is that face? Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to be honest about my answer. I think that like Venus, I think I would just be really confused. But I think that you're right, Chappelle. That like Soda's just trying. She's used to being in control, and so she's like, okay, like I'm gonna grab this and everybody touch it, and like she is the uh whatever like the facilitator oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, like what think what's gonna happen and like venus is just confused because it feels personal and she's already on the out so her face is i was like if i had to watch this back on tv and that was me i would cry yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think it's, this would be a great beware advantage like you what? get the beware advantage and it's like you've lost your idol when jeff gives the immunity idol you need to be the one to grab it if you don't hold mm -hmm. it you're losing your vote right Go. you're not holding it by the end because now you just got to be like a total asshole to your yeah crowd. you can't let anybody else touch it at all yeah. if anybody <laughs> else touches it <laughs> yeah. you lost your vote well that's like jimmy the soda thing is interesting because it doesn't seem like is venus grabbing the idol and then holding it for like because i feel like if, you, if she had another second she would then pass like it doesn't seem like she's just like kind of you know holding it also dr amanda had a very funny tweet that the idols are liz and mariah which is very funny they do mm -hmm. have a <laughs> they do look alike yeah, just yeah. plug in dr amanda's tweet yeah the one just looks very wealthy is this also a factor of I, I was talking about this a little bit with uh jam jam that usually like the idols are not and tell me Chappelle, am i using the, the right word of anthropomorphic of like uh they're usually not like figures uh, is there anything to like where the idol is like a little person and so you want to hug it like a doll whereas if it was uh, a skull that we wouldn't be having like this same conversation or yeah. a sword yeah an or a sword. right uh, you would have, you'd have to pry the sword out of my cold dead hands i'm like mine mine you like kane. No, so, yeah exactly okay kane God, my Beyonce. Yes, him, Kane. Exactly. Um, yeah, I think that maybe there's something to it where it feels like it looks like like it's it's our people. It's part of the tribe, you know. Um, they put the little buff on it. Jeff made sure to chop it off. Yeah. Um, they're yeah. decorating it. Yeah. Rob, what was your uh, idol when you were? It was uh, like a little like Paddington Bear type thing. Uh, yeah. Did you like, feel a need to to kind of cuddle it? I, I, we've dressed it up. We were putting like <laughs> feathers on it, like uh, and you know, remember famously, Joanna did not yeah. like it because you, we, she well, felt like you we were, were, we were it. worshiping it as like a false god. Mm -hmm. Like, and I mean, you, if it was a trophy, I, I don't think that any she would have felt like people were worshiping it. Well, that's why Julie has not invited you on God 101 because she, like Joanna, knew that you were worshiping a false idol. Joanna, for uh, when I went to the Survivor, the Amazon finale, I had never like had a conversation with her, but like I, she came up to me and I was like, "Oh, hey, Joanna, how are you?" And she's like, "Nope, I'm not talking to you. 
you worship the magic eight ball. She said that I, that my God was the magic eight ball. And that's why she had a problem with me. Yeah. Well, the- I heard that she hooked up with Ryan from the office. <laughs> ah! Jojo! Tell me more. Oh, yes. She doesn't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> and, and many years later, then she uh, she also like uh, gave me the what for during a Black Voices of Survivor roundtable. Also, still uh, that you know she got one over on me. She won more challenges uh, than than uh, in her time on the show. The women won more challenges than the men did. Oh glory! Oh glory! Hallelujah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. So so maybe I am qualified to talk about uh, yeah. you know spirituality on Survivor. Book it. Yeah. All right. So do we want to just uh, explore any other uh, any other reasons why Venus is having such a hard time in her tribe? Oh, because Tevin doesn't like her. That's yeah. Tevin does yeah, well, Tevin think- and Soda both uh talked about how that they don't feel like that she's fitting in. I think the perfect example or the perfect match for her is uh Jessica from Big Brother 19. I mean, it's like the same thing where it's like kind of well, not the same thing. <laughs> yeah, in but what way, a, Zach? It's it's a very pretty woman that you yes. would expect with almost any group to naturally just get along with, click with, to be like solidly in the majority, to like, you know, just not have to worry in like this this beginning, whatever. And yet the entire group just hates her for like a reason that we have yet to see thus mm-hmm. far. And in the same way, this makes her wildly popular with the yeah. uh, the fans. You got to push back against that. Yeah, we love an underdog. You like love rooting for the person who's like, well, maybe if they could upset this power structure. But I, I do agree. You know, she's not, not being in good favor with the the yeah. most you know charismatic person. Like everybody's drawn to one person, and if they're not drawn to you, then you're the one on the outs. Uh, so she just went to Randon, and I guess they're going to yeah. take over the game from here. Well, does that make Kevin the Paul? I think yes. so. <laughs> Friendship. Oh! Yeah, I think so. This is why this cast is interesting to me because I like all of them and Mm -hmm. I don't like watching. Well, I'm very interested just because I'm obsessed with human behavior, watching the the dynamics play out, but I don't like what I'm seeing. Like if I Mm -hmm. didn't like at an emotional distance, but I'm also like, I am seeing these people I like on their worst behavior Mm -hmm. and it's both fascinating. And also like, I have to stay distant from it and be like, whatever, it like exists in a bubble because it's nasty. Like I loved heaven. But I don't like this Tevin and you Venus seem like it. you like it. Well, <laughs> you seem like you lit up. I mean, talking about she's, just she's like, like in the night. I don't like this, but let me tell you something. This is actually I kind of want to just <laughs> inject this into my veins. Y'all get it? This is like conflict. Yeah, this is the <laughs> second most excited you've been in this conversation. <laughs> Let's talk about more fights. <laughs> watching, the, watching the secret scene between the two of them, like. Which should have been in the episode, one hundred percent. They need a three-hour episode, Zach. I, no, no. no. Right. Get the change.org petition, Brandon. Yeah. Where is the three-hour episode? But now we can all name a lot of Taylor Swift, a lot more yes. Metallica than we could before this. You know, mm-hmm. so worked out forty more know, minutes today. Who needs yeah. to see Tribe Dynamics? It's a great scene. And say so if you haven't watched it, if you're listening to this, go watch it. It's very, very mm-hmm. it's so clear they hate each other. Mm-hmm. Tevin and Venus. Yeah. Did you watch the secret scene? This I one? did not see that secret we scene. We gotta watch this secret scene. They so clearly like they're trying to resolve it, and it's so clear that this will never be resolved. They just hate each other's guts. That's why I think this is a negative season because like so many yeah. people hate each other. Yeah, mm-hmm. they are I, never getting back together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like, don't want them to lose. I want them, I want them, I want them to keep with their six and make it to the merch yeah, stage merge. of the game because it'll be so much more fun to see them all disperse once they get to the, a bigger group. Um, and they don't yeah. look like they're, they're, they're really good at the count. They're not going to lose. I don't think. Um, mm-hmm. and I'm yeah. very excited to see just the, you know, the fallout for, for, and who falls first is I think the very interesting dynamic there is it could be any of them. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I want to go back to that tribal council still and talk about the Banu of it all, because, uh, we have not seen too many times uh, that this has happened or recently, unless there's something that I'm missing, Brandon, that somebody just completely just that they were not the target and they completely unravel at tribal council. This is a first, this is not something that I've seen in quite a long time. And I, and I loved it and I loved it. It's, it's, it's really, you know, it's great. Um, every, I mean, so many sound bites you get from that, that tribal <laughs> council. 
Yes. Well, I don't have one to play. So <laughs> yeah, why, why, don't, why don't you just tell me the sound bite you like? like the, cue the music. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like. To, I feel like a fool. I think that's great. Oh yeah, that's the um, one. I. That's the only one I have. Oh, feel like a fool. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like the just the getting up of it all. You know, people didn't. People didn't get up. The block like, is hot. Yeah, the block. You're is making. Hot. You're making the, the block, block hot. hot is iconic for it's so many line. reasons. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Um. It, I. I always think that you know in the moment when watching survivor i'm always like i wonder what you were thinking in that exact in that exact moment when you did this thing that you know is going to be on television right uh i think was it was it liz who stood up on that uh that, on the on the tribal council like bench that time like please don't vote me yeah. out like that kind of thing when you do uh, that you're like no no that was uh, that jennifer, was jennifer, 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 jennifer lanzetti Lan yes Lan you're, you're yeah. not gonna believe this another 17 places another oh, 17 places yes place. she didn't eat the bugs though they went in no, her ears. Yeah, they went in her the bugs ears. ate her, kind of. Yeah, bugs. yeah, yeah. But she stands up on the thing. It's just like you know, like you guys, we gotta do this. And I'm like, bruh, you have to know. The moment you get voted out, like, oh, shit, I feel like a fool. And yeah. uh, and you know, I think the move, you know, you do what you can to stay. But I think when Banu does this, I don't think he feels like a fool because Jess got voted out. It seems like he knew Jess was going to get voted out. He yeah. voted the correct way. But he's kind of like, oh, my God, I just showed my ass at this tribal council and it wasn't even me. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if he knew that Jess was going to get voted. He voted for Jess, but I think he was feeling very much like the votes were coming yeah. for him. Like he had to, went up to every single person like, tell me, Kenzie, what is what? Am, and they're like, just do what we told you to do. And he got up and went up to everybody. And then as soon as he sees one Banu vote, grabs a bag. <laughs> yeah, that was a great moment. He's like, that's it. He's, he's out of there. I just Whoa. need to remind the people who haven't played 66 hours of Survivor that <laughs> in these moments, it is quiet. It is dead yeah. quiet. Oh, so yeah. when these people, it's insane watching Banu on the screen. Like all no. this crazy stuff. Like that comes off insane watching from your couch. Imagine being there in person. It is silent. Or like when they're at the marooning and it's the first time you hear anyone open their mouth and they're bursting and they say crazy shit. Like it is quiet. It's silent. And then at the challenge when Liz comes up and she's screaming and so does face and so does on her knees screaming to the ground. <laughs> it <Yeah>. is silent <laughs> besides their screams. So Banu having this like huge outpouring at Tribal I just need everyone to understand it is dead quiet while this man is acting like this. And that it's is real life. It's, yeah. it's you, you just hear a producer in the background going, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Like, but like, God, this I, is good. I feel like we have seen, not to the degree of Banu, but the person who we as an audience, like, you know, know is safe or like really like think is safe and then turns out to be safe, still has just as much panic because in my season i was like i'm going home tonight and the only thing that was caught like stopping me from being 100 percent sure was i was like well tori also is a disaster right now like mm -hmm. she also <laughs> feels like a complete wreck so if i feel this bad like she also is feeling equally as bad so maybe like it is her uh and i feel like that's kind of what happened with jess and banu like you know he he truly in his heart i think thought i am going home tonight yeah. yeah, but I think his he, reasoning was crazy at all. I I just think that the expression is so inspiring. I wish I could fly off like that. And that's coming my, from I feel like you my, can. My, you can? Yeah. My, my question is still, what did Banu expect to happen in this moment? Because he goes to like, tell me who to vote for. And they're like, Banu, chill. He's like, tell me who to vote for. Like, I, just stick to the plan. Banu, chill. And then he goes and he votes for Jazz. And he's like, I feel like a fool. Banu, if you felt like you were going, why didn't you play the shot in the dark? I mean, I don't think anybody's asked the question yet. Like, he had other options. It wasn't vote yeah. for Jess and I'm going home and I, I grabbed my bag. You got me. I really feel like he looked back at that and was like, slowly putting his bag down. Like, ooh, <laughs> sorry, I kind of jumped the gun there. There's no yeah. reason why he should have felt like he was going home. Yeah, I had to think Jess, who did want to go home, is probably thinking, like, just she wants to tell Bono, like, you can stop it. You can just yeah. hang out for a second. You're, you're golden, you know? You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> also, knowing, knowing these people and knowing this tribe that they're on, is it possible that the other three were purposely making Banu feel uncomfortable so that they could at the same time flush his shot in the dark for next time? Villains. Oh, yeah. Villains. Whole <laughs> ass villains. Yeah. You know, you're asking, you're you're like, playing hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> asking him like hey like uh or he's asking like who do i vote who do i vote are you still voting the same way and they're like banu yeah 
they're not giving him the answer that he needs. They're not like actually trying to reassure him. They're like being a little sketchy there. Yeah. Yeah. I think also that Jess was very close with Banu and I think that they don't want to tell him too much information because I think they also are very wary that he cannot keep a secret. And I think that he's going to go to Jess and say like, they all said they're voting for you. It's all, it's all, it's all them. <laughs> Jeff, let's vote. It's time. I feel comfortable it is time now. Let's, to vote. let's do it. And it's time to vote. No, yeah. that's a good point. That when Jess goes to get her, her, um, torch snuffed that she laughs. Like it's such a <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then you see Jeff. See, this is what I mean. Jeff does have the edges real, but he is like a good dude. I think deep down he's like, are you OK? And I think he means it like this is funny, but also like, actually, are you OK? Like you seem stunned. And that's what I love about Jess. She's so honest. She's like, this is just I like don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a good way for her to end. Yeah. OK. Um, One of the other things we saw in the two hour episode was we opened up with the Nami tribe and they were, uh, you know, having some fun and they were talking about uh, some of the different challenges uh, that they could potentially have on Survivor. For today's challenge, you'll be diving <laughs> down 45 feet high. blindfolded <laughs> for a screw for a one Whoa. screw at the bottom <laughs> of the ocean. We have covered it with 2000 nails. Right. Yeah. You gotta feel for the first that. try to get the screw wins. Air. Air. <laughs> All right. That's but really put them on the dream team. <laughs> yeah. They're ready to they're ready to go. Did Dive down to the bottom yet. of the ocean to find a screw covered in two thousand nails to win air. <laughs> Air is a very funny Liz line. I want to give yeah. Liz credit for that joke. <laughs> That's a very it's Liz. I love Liz. Money. Yeah. That's money. how you make yeah. that money. <laughs> right yeah that did is this a uh a, a common practice of trying to come up with challenges that the survivors might face i think what we did on lulu for the the time that i was there is the, the two days before the challenge what can we do i think was that i think we did the opposite <laughs> of this is like what's the bare minimum thing that they can give us that we think we can we can nail in this point point? and it was it was a similar similar conversation to to this just much easier you know yeah running a line you know, a couple pieces, a slide puzzle, perhaps nine pieces, you know, a little algorithm action. We would have mm -hmm. been golden. It would have been fine. Yeah. yeah. No yeah, wall, we... stairs, an escalator, <laughs> mayhaps. You know, who knows? An escalator yeah, would be a good challenge. <laughs> yeah. That'd be exciting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> could could you all come up with something that would be a fun challenge that maybe I know people, uh, it was polarizing the challenge this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I would love one challenge idea that I was thinking of is they do like all these things where everyone has to do it together. I would love a challenge where it's literally like a relay of all six people each have to do one part. Mm -hmm. And you're basically and like make one part really hard, one part really easy, like, uh, you know, but to even it out. But also, I think that, you know, that would really put the pressure on to people like, hey, you chose this one part. This was all on you. Brandon, do you like that idea? I would have been great. That would have been so good if we, if we did it. Is, is the first part trivia? Is the first part, you know, like I mm -hmm. think that I, I, we would have nailed that. We would have done so good. Um, I want my part to be a pogo stick. I can pogo for like literally an hour. I'm really an good at An hour? Pogo. Yeah. And I like the endurance ones. They don't do the endurance ones anymore because like I feel like it's just not good for production for them to be standing there. It's not a good use of their time. Like you could be developing stories. So they want to get you in and out for a challenge, but don't you guys miss the like part with their arm up for like six hours or like Christian Hubicki talking for six hours. Like I like that stuff and they don't sure. do it anymore. I'm what more about... interested in hearing about your pogo stick. <laughs> well, Same. I literally can pogo so long that like my knees will be bruised. Like oh, I'm in wow. Bruised. How are yeah. they bruised if you're, if you're vertical? No, you have to the squeeze. Inside. You have to like squeeze the pogo. The pogo. I think yeah. that's a pretty easy question to ask. It's really not a very popular toy. You you have to squeeze no. on the pogo so you don't fall off of it. So you you're holding your weight on top of it and then hopping. Okay, if I ever come to another R hop event, I'm yes. bringing a pogo stick. Would it make it through security? Bring two. I mean, I'll pogo with you in into the theater. Maybe not onto the airplane. Rob, you could comp that. Take a bag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we could just order a pogo stick online, have it shipped to the Rip place, one. and then. See if we could have you maybe cut uh, like, like maybe like you'll be in this, like maybe we'll have some sort of like a setup, like outside the theater. Let's cut. <laughs> all right. Let's cut back to Maddie. Is she still pogoing like 47 minutes in? 
Like that yeah. would be impressive. Yeah. 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 I'll, pogo, I'll pogo with you. You know, like I was like, I'm, I don't, I'm not doing anything prior to the show except for smoke. I mean, doing social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about what about this is a, a challenge idea I just thought of? Idol hunting is such a big part of Survivor. What if Jeff just has the tribes there and tells them both immunity idols idol. are somewhere out here? <laughs> Go find. Why does it look like you're reading this off Reddit? Well. What are you are, are you <laughs> looking never. for podcast uh, ideas on Reddit <laughs> right now, Zach? Guys, does anyone else think that the new era? <laughs> <is> <laughs> the new does anyone wish that they had more just recruited <laughs> models? Mm -hmm. and, you know, or, or I think that's really missing. Wait, no. wait, you know, Rob, when you played back in back in whenever, like yeah. the challenges were so <laughs> much more. They, they were so simple. Like we had matching. Yes. Like we had the thing that you did at All Stars and, and right. Amazon. Right there, like, Brandon, you yeah. also had matching. When did I matching? The puzzle in, in your journey. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, well, uh, listen, I mean that's you know that's yes. I, I, that was Rick. Um, the, 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 <laughs> your matching, the, the group matching, I think. Right. Is, there's so many challenges, and if it's like a budgetary thing, those are cheaper. Like, like I don't know why we don't go back to something like you know, like Lisa Kiefer flipping over the pieces and the you know Vanuatu. You know, well, yeah. that's that's probably fair because Brandon, you were talking about challenges that you would be good at, but you're very charismatic. If you put you in like the the spot where you know they're doing the oh, what's in your box? What do you have? Do you have a yeah. shaving kit as well? Like I think but, you kill it something. Yeah, like Brandon, that. Uh, you mentioned budget. Like, are you getting the sense that Survivor is trying to like cut back money? on the I think they're putting all the money into the challenges. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I mean. In terms of just the show as a whole, like it's you know just the the lack of. I think they're like, spending half the budget on the challenges. <laughs> yeah, we can we can reallocate. We can you know we don't have to go to the sanctuary. You know, get yeah. the helicopter back. In. I think it, it's it's I think we have to you know we reallocate and we do a couple simple setups. You know, yeah. I could I could be there, break it. You know, set it up, break it down. You know, on the yeah. Side. Well, he doesn't want to go to the dream survivor. team. He wants to defund it. <laughs> Listen, it's a nightmare <laughs> team when your boy's there. But I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll hang out. You know, I got some. You know, pay minimum I think, wage. I think in terms of the budget, survive the survivor fan base is the only fan base I have seen in my entire life who's like, we miss the sponsors. Bring <laughs> back, yeah, bring back more sponsors. Like, why right. are we just not doing that? Yeah, sh and I guess not enough of them are watching Big Brother Canada, Chappelle. No, because Big Brother Canada is like, well, we could give away cash prizes, but instead we're going to give you $20,000 sharper image stuff. We're going to give you everything that you can see on the home shopping network and just and call it a day. I remember mm -hmm. they gave out George Foreman grills to Ty when he won his season. I was like, yeah. I'm sure that's what he needed. You yeah. know, is when 2004's best. Oh, it's of course it's there. It's they're not the, getting could you imagine? Wendy's winners. They're Brandon, getting it all the way. Imagine they gave the survivors Wendy's. <laughs> oh, you'd, yeah. you'd, you'd, oh I got God. that dog in me, and you'd see it. <laughs> 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 could be right. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're gonna throw a yeah. Dave single at me, brother. You know, get ready, <laughs> Dave single. Listen, he's a Jew. Shit. He can't eat the baconator. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That Man. I would love to see the big Tom cut. I want to know what they I want to know all the rest of it. You know, if he if he said yeah. that, yeah, show they me everything. Uh, listen, uh, I got it. I got the uh, uncensored <laughs> big Tom cut. <laughs> I need I need a word for word breakdown. Send it in my email, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They, that you know, you could you all like came away lucky uh from back in the day with the survivors, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I played with another 17th place. I played with Rudy. I didn't yeah, play with him. I, I, I was, I, I spent a lot of time with him outside the game. Amazing with Rudy. segue. Yes. And, uh, what would, what would Rudy say about a lot of this new era survivor stuff? You know, it's so interesting because I, I think about my friend Rudy, who I spent uh, like a good four weeks with uh, after the game was over and when we were at Ponderosa and we toured South America together. And I, I really I cherish that time with my friend. And I, I feel like I really got to know him. And, and I almost feel like that at times, like I could channel him and like, uh, you know, uh, like feel like I, I know what he would say about things from time to day. And, and and I do wonder like what uh you know if he were to encounter survivors from the new era like what what his thoughts might be yeah so let's play a game how about we have each of our new era survivors just explain to Rudy how they got voted out and see what he has to say about that how about that okay all right 
So, so we bring, how do we bring Rudy? How is it? Is it I just... think I can just like I. I suppose I feel his presence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen. Oh my God! A surprise guest to the seventeenth place club. Yeah, Rudy. Yeah. Okay, so Rudy, uh, I'm Chappelle. I know you haven't met me, but, but here we are. All right. All right. Yeah. Um, Did you know Jervis? I, I, I. We don't all know each other, Rudy. No, we do not. Okay. Um, I mean, not not a survivor player I've met yet is what I mean to say. Um, okay. But we have with us Zach. Zach from Survivor right. 41. Wow. 42. 42. 40. 40. 40 something. It's okay, Rudy. Rudy, I'm such I, a huge fan. Um, I watched you when I was zero. Um, so my my Survivor story was I got put in a tribe. It's uh, it was season 42, and there was one woman on my tribe. Her name was Drea. She was uh, she's an influencer influencer that i i don't even know what that means influencer well she has a lot of like followers like on instagram do you do you know goop do you know goop <laughs> by gwyneth paltrow that, that they had back back in nam uh that there there was some goop that we that we use then but is it i don't think it's like that i don't think i no, it, it probably is is just as effective uh, but I was, I was voted out by Drea and there was this guy, Rox Roy, you would really like him. Uh, and <laughs> I, I, like that, I like that name. Yeah. I, yeah. I was voted out five to zero because I used my shot in the dark to, uh, sacrifice. Oh, him. you know, I got shot in the dark once <laughs> too. Uh, that was tough. I've been shot in the day also. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was neither, brutal. neither one was good, but you know. We just, you, you just, you know, rub some dirt on it. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Rudy. It's an honor and a uh, pregame, pregame alliance for next time. Okay. Uh, Maddie, have you met Rudy? Yeah. No. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, Maddie. Um, Rudy, what happened to me is I got to Survivor and I was unanimously voted out. Okay. Well, <laughs> that happens. Yeah. That, what where did you did you lose the challenge? It was well, your that, fault and they had to keep the tribe strong. Do you not remember what happened to me, Ro Rudy? Ro <laughs> Robbie? Maddie, do you not remember what happened to me? <laughs> um okay, so what happened to me? I got the survivor. I missed a few seasons. <laughs> And yeah, well, new this, era. This is legit. This is legit what I think happened. Okay. I, I got to Survivor. I immediately didn't like my tribe. Immediately I was like, this tribe sucks. It's bad. There, there was like one person that was like a wild I, card. That's relatable. Yeah. And I was like, there's one person that I like definitely want out. And then he fell off a rock. And then he was incapacitated. So I was like, he can stay. There was this mm -hmm. other guy that I tried to bond with, but he was always weird towards me. And I was like, I don't. I there so was weird. a guy who was weird too when I played, <laughs> and he got and he got naked. And, Rudy, uh, we don't, Rudy, we don't do that anymore. Yeah, we don't do that yeah. anymore. And no. he, he was he was queer, but it was he was good. He was good. He it was good. good. He was good. And you liked that guy. Yeah, that yeah. I that uh, that was I, I like that guy. Mm -hmm. In a homosexual way. Not in a homosexual way, <laughs> Chappelle. Just ask don't, it. Just ask. don't get it twisted. Maddie, tell him how I got, fri I got friends. I got friends. I got friends. You wouldn't want to mess with them. Maddie. You're, you're missing the, the key part of how you got voted out. And then um, the NFL player who secretly had a crush on me found an idol. <laughs> yeah. Confirm, confirm, confirmed, by the way. Confirm. I asked yeah. him. He was, he was explaining to Jam Jam. He was like, Jam's like, why didn't you trust Maddie? Why didn't you trust Maddie? And Brandon's like, because we thought she was a CEO. And I said, Brandon, you can just say you had a crush on me. And he said, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then that guy. That was that like, a, you know, Greg and Colleen that they yeah. had a crush that I did. Nobody knew what they did. And I didn't want to know either. <laughs> Don't put that on me. And then <laughs> and then he played an idol and I got out with one vote. Wow. Rudy, Brandon, what? 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, Rudy, we know, do I have. Didn't, I didn't know what any of that meant, but. Okay. Yeah. I well, don't know. Rudy, we also have the NFL player that she talked about. Brandon is here. Yeah. Brandon. <laughs> what what hey, happened to the NFL? <laughs> <laughs> it's still good. It's still good. They're they're working on the CTE part of it, but otherwise, it's. it's I don't yeah. even know what CTE means. Yeah, you wouldn't like it. It would just won the challenge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you wouldn't take to it. Well, Rudy, let me tell you, I in the first challenge of my season, forty five. You know, a couple years after you, I had a I had a panic attack during it. Oh, were 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 you in a, a war? <laughs> You could call it that. It, it it felt like it at the time. Yeah, they mm-hmm. had to they had to call in medical. It was a whole it was a whole situation. Um, and then I get to the first tribal council, and I beforehand I'm starting to get I'm starting to get reflux, like acid reflux. I'm sure you're familiar. Acid reflux. Uh, that that's what them hippies did in the seventies. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a little bit of that. I, I dabbled, you know. But we went to. Hey, we went, why is your uh, hair so long? Why don't we get you a haircut? This is really, I feel like I'm there. I feel like it's, I know, I it's right? 1988 like... again. And then I get, we get to the first tribal council and I'm not even going to be voted out, but actually one of my, one of my friends, one of my people in the tribe, they quit. They said they didn't want to be on survivor any longer. That I didn't even know that you were allowed to quit. Yeah. But did, 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 did Jeff go nuts? He, no, he, they hugged. He was really inspired by it. Actually. They didn't, they didn't put that on the, on the program. But and then I went to the next tribal council. Just you I know. never hugged anybody in my life. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, I mean, you could start. BB is somewhere with you. He he. You know, hug him. He's he would need. <laughs> you know, BB. Uh, he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, one of the best. <laughs> one of the best. But uh, you know, I I've been hearing things about this uh, BB that uh, Zach's brother was on, and uh, they ain't getting no bargains. <laughs> Look, uh, Rob, my, my, or not Rob, sorry, Rudy, Rudy, my brother. Who's Rob? (laughs) Uh, That kid from the the Survivor show that would annoy me and ask me the questions all the time? Yeah, the the guy from Dealer No Deal Island. Uh, (laughs) No, but my my brother, just like you, Rudy, loves America. America. Greatest country in the world. Well, he didn't die for America. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Rudy, thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Rudy. That was thank, fun. Bring yeah, back Rob. Thank you, Chappelle. And uh just want to say thanks for everybody for, you know, doing the survivor, whatever. Okay. Wow. We're, uh, I'm so happy that my friend, my friend. Right. I love that <laughs> guy. Love yeah. him. Yeah. Rob, you missed it. Rudy was here. Yes. Crack yeah. me up every day. Yeah. Hilarious. I, was, I have I something. was watching Brandon Donlin and Rudy interact at Hearts of Reality <laughs> in that moment. In, in the game. autograph line. I have something behind me, but I'm going to have to be distracted for a second. I just, okay. I'm just you know, hedging. Brandon bringing, is bringing out a surprise for the Back podcast. Okay. Let's see. Props. Yes. Okay. As uh, he brings out the the props, uh, let's let's see. Oh, is it already here? This is This is actually a gift that I was given. By yes. Eric Lavalley, listener of the podcast. Okay. Uh, patron. Yes, Eric um, Lavalley. Gave to me Survivor era. When I got on the program, and this is a shirt that was made. Um, it says, Welcome home, Rudy Bosch, from the That's first time so he was cute. on the program. Yes. Um, wow. they did, this is we we just did Rudy, Rudy Palooza. Palooza. Rudy Palooza. We just did Rudy Palooza too, just now. It was, <laughs> it was better than the first one. Yes. Um, and, you know, thank you, Eric LaValle. It's a, you know, follow him on Twitter. Yeah, it's great. You know, we had some questions. Uh, we asked the listeners uh, to reach out. This was, I thought, a really interesting one. Uh, Chappelle and I uh, spoke to this person only a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Trey from Squid Game, also fellow 17th placer. He said, what is it about 17th place that produces a player that seems like they can make it far on literally any other season? Uh, is he in the group chat with you? We could add him. We'll, we'll we'll have to actually talk about it before, like after we get off here. But then we'll have to we'll we'll throw him in there. Yeah, yeah. I like the four like a different group chat that has him in. Yeah, I yeah. Think like the other show. Talk about the other reality shows. Like whenever we're at events and they're mixing and mingling, I'm like, this is not a mixer. I'm here, hang on with my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, Trace seems cool. Trace seems cool. Trace seems cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. there's probably something to be said about 456 players and he's landing at 17th. I yeah. mean, yeah, it is Pretty kind hard. of iconic, especially I, considering so, the way Trey went out. 
what I mm-hmm. will say that I think applies to me, applies to Brandon, applies to Jess, applies to Trey. I don't know if it applies to uh, Maddie, Madonna. It's a compliment. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> considering the circumstances, but she can answer for herself. It does. I think that we all obviously could have done better um, given a different tribe or different whatever. I think what all of us have in common that caused us to fail is that we did not have like a killer instinct. We did not have that like willing to throw anyone under the bus, willing to like, you know, lie, cheat and steal, do all these things, like do literally anything, like cross our own boundaries to stay. I know that in the moment I like felt guilt wrecked to be throwing the names out of people that I genuinely liked and genuinely like wanted to stay in this game in a way that I think that people who are a lot more successful than me uh, did not feel. And I mean, look at how Trey went, right? Like Trey literally went by just jumping off a cliff. <laughs> we all we all have a metaphorical glass bridge that it's hard for us to. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, I I echo that same thing. I was worried that people were mad at me when I got voted out. Like I, I walked down the path and I remember saying to a producer, like, I hope they're not upset with me. Like <laughs> it's just, you know, not the way that you want to be playing the, the island. But I, I think Trey, a beautiful compliment. Thank you very much. Thank and you. I also do think Maddie has that killer instinct. Maddie, Maddie's got it. Maddie's got Thank it. You. Yeah. Ma- Maddie's here by mistake. I actually, well, I do. I think that all of us could have done well in another season. Um, And I didn't believe that Survivor was part luck until I played it. So, like, Mm -hmm. I do believe that now. But um, Jess has said so much insightful stuff like this. Like, for one, she was like, people treat this game like it's a meritocracy, but it's actually a middle school cafeteria. She's so good. She's so Mm -hmm. smart. She's good. Uh, She's good. She's good. Um, So that is very like is that why soda's doing well that she has uh, the most <laughs> practice at the middle school cafeteria because she's in the vending machine yeah. <laughs> i also zach what you said i do i i don't know how far i would have gone because the only reason i was able to do what i was doing is because in survivor you usually don't know when someone's doing you dirty but i mm-hmm. did so i like for me it was like well brandon can go because he's showed me no respect period yep. like fine but like with in your situations like that is i think really challenging and why people like jam jam who can separate that and be Mm -hmm. like no like i want what's best for myself anyway those are the people who are successful i don't know if i have that my only showing of it was like a unique situation but like i probably would have that's why we're all friends right like similar values and stuff well for me it was very easy to target drea because she was just the person i naturally connected with the least like by far on the tribe so for me i was like I connect with even Roxroy, I like connected with. Drea, I did not connect with. I was like, this is the person that I would like to target. And then when I had to switch it to like Tori, for instance, who I, I genuinely really liked out there, that was really difficult for me in right. a way that it was not difficult for Tori to then switch it onto me, even though we were like aligned at the start. And I think that's literally why she stayed and why I did not, because she just fought so much harder and was so much more brutal than I was able to be. And yeah. that on the Emily front also, like I was not the one that threw Emily out for like uh, Emily's name was out there. Cause Emily's name was out there. I, I, I liked Emily. I liked everybody, you know? Um, and that I just, I stuck with Emily on my round that I left because it was just the other name, you know, yeah. and it's the same thing. It's like having to toss out somebody, even Emily, it hurt. I mean, Emily right before they didn't show it, but right before we went to tribal council, we were hugging and hug, like saying, I hope it's you. It's Ace. You know, I was, we were, we were very, you know, in it. Um, so I, I very much echoing all of the, all of the yeah. killer instincts. And if okay. anyone hasn't seen Jess's twins post about her, like it was amazing. Yeah. Legit Beautiful. cry. So sweet. And like, she says like survivor supposed to be a microcosm of society, but it's not like I, if it were what real life is like, like we would have, I think she said wove palm fronds and fell asleep holding hands. Aww. Like yeah. so sweet. Oh, Zach, I'll send it to you. You haven't seen it. No, no it's amazing. She it's like a three-page post. It's great. Yeah. It's really she, had the, she had the funniest tweet that I saw that was like, until Jess, I've never seen a Survivor contestant that looked just like me. <laughs> <laughs> you experienced that on Big Brother as well, Zach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then Squid Game. Uh, so back, back to Trey's question, though. More macro. Do you think that they don't cast people? They, they mostly cast people who can probably, in any simulation, do a variety of... No, and yeah. I think that it's so, possible we could have all developed that throughout yeah. the game. Mm-hmm. I don't right. think we start with yeah. that. Yes, we just very didn't much have so. a chance. Yeah. 
I, I think that something like uh, just like to look at survivor casting uh, during the Jeff era versus the Lynn Spillman era, I do believe for a very long time in the early days of survivor through like the, the mid thirties, they cast people that were going to, they were cast to be the first person out of the show. They were cast to do bad somehow. If they didn't do bad, even better, but they were grenades that were in the cast. I, I think that Jeff, when, when Jeff is saying we're not looking for villains, like they're, they're looking for 18 people who I think are viable candidates to win. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, would, and would make a good story if they did. I mean, if any of you three make it to the merge, y'all are cooking. I'm sorry. If y'all, if you're on a challenge, uh, well, on a tribe that's winning the challenges and you don't have to worry about that, you give the three of you chances to make connection with people. I don't, I'm not betting on anybody else. Like y'all got it. Uh, maybe Brandon, literally everybody will die for you. And so it's like, if you get you to the merge, it's your game. But sometimes like Maddie said, it's the game. There's a lot of luck in it. I think there's something to be said about this group and the fact that I keep drafting y'all. I mean, Brandon, don't get me wrong. I didn't draft you, but I probably would have had you, had you dropped to me. You know what I'm saying? I, dra I, dra I drafted Justine as well. You know, it's like, I, I'm, in my mind, honorary several team there. This is me. This is my crew. This is my people. Yeah. Stolen I, I, valor. Stolen <laughs> yeah, valor. For yeah, Chappelle. Look, if I'm going to steal something, this is definitely what it's going to be. I mean, Chappelle's <laughs> won the last thing that he was on. Yeah. Even, yeah. but yeah. look, to, to, to that point, I hated every second of it. I was like, what Brandon said, I was so miserable. The first thing I asked, um, first thing I, I, I can't even remember the first person I talked to. The first thing, oh, Mari texted me. She said, we're not mad at you because she knows me. She yeah. knows, like the first thing I saw on my phone was, we, don't worry, we're not mad. And I was like, oh, thank God. And no. then all I did was see people be mad. All, all the tweets look like everyone's mad at Chappelle because he played a game. I hated it. I'm a 17th there. I'm sorry. It's, this is where I deserve to be. <laughs> you know who called me after that game, by the way? Who? Who? Bryce. Bryce? Yes. Bryce was like, Zach, I am so sorry. <laughs> I screwed up. I don't know why I trusted Chappelle. I should have trusted you. <laughs> He should have, and I felt like shit. Oh, that was the first call I made was Bryce. I was like, Bryce, please don't hate me. I'm sorry. I didn't want to play this. I didn't even want to be a traitor. I would have rather just melt it myself out. Like, and by the horrible. way, that's why Bryce sucked at Survivor too. Yeah, because Bryce is a nice person. He wasn't. He doesn't. You know. He ain't got it. Yeah. He could have voted. He could have voted for Morgan and didn't. Yeah. 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 Literally. Yeah, I was trying to save Jamie. That's why I did all all that nonsense to save Jamie. Yeah. Like why? It, you know, if I if I may uh in an All every right. flipping way push back, uh it sounds like what you're saying is that like the people that go out early are the nice people. No, the, the people that go further the, the into several the game. specifically, Rob, because you went out early one time and no one's accusing you of this. Mm -hmm. I believe that was because 15th. You, <laughs> What's my 15th place round table? <laughs> yeah, who are the Rob? Who are the 15th placers? You got them? I've, I could not name one other 15th place. Brandon, Brandon Donlin, what we got? Good. Do we have time? I mean, it's no, like, no, literally, literally, literally do it. Down here. Twice. What, what Sandra's twice? 15th place? Sandra's, I think, 14. I mean, it might have right? gotten, she definitely was 15th game changers. I don't know how the winners at war. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. The numbers work right. out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Br another another Brandon Brandon Hance I believe was a 15th placer mm -hmm. that sounds right yeah, yeah. well I guess it, it, so like back when there were 16 people in the survivor season I could probably name a lot of second <laughs> boots uh BB Anderson uh mentioned again for yeah. I think the second time on this podcast and the second time in RHAP history <laughs> yeah. mentioned BB yeah. Anderson yeah. so you know there's that the first mm -hmm. guy, the first pseudo quitter B. B. yeah Anderson. Kel Gleason yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll eat well. Yeah. So that's Ooh. I mean that's pretty exciting. Tyson okay. is the fifteenth placer. You know, fifteenth placers have high highs and low lows. That's all. Uh, yeah. Okay. Eric Corbett. Oh, go ahead. You go. Okay. Uh, Eric Corbett had a question. Uh, which of the three of you should get brought back to Survivor first, and why? Oh, for like uh, I saw this was was like a, about a first boots, right? Like because we all. Well, no. there's a different just question, but yeah, that's a different in question. general, in general, which wh who's most likely of the three who's of most, you? Who's most willing to play again is what I will ask. That's a, should we go around and say, I'll give, if, yeah, I'll give the pitch for me. I feel like my family's track record has shown mm -hmm. it was a fluke that I have it. I would say that we've already seen what a returnee from Maddie's season can do. 
Yes. I feel like that's a closed story. <laughs> that's you know, true. like we've that's already true. seen the pre merger from there. And uh, with Brandon, I mean, Brandon quit. <laughs> <laughs> I've read that on Twitter. Yeah, yeah people, are, people are upset about that. Um, I'm glad they edited it out. Thank you, Russell, for, for showing, <laughs> telling yeah. everybody that I they edited it out. Um, I yeah, I would go, but I don't. I don't. You know, I would happily bequeath to to either. I'm t- I'm I'm gonna mm-hmm. quit this game. I'm out of this. Game. Okay, <laughs> Natty, would you play again? Um, I think I would do better. I thought this when I was out there because I was like. When you get out there, you realize that only half the people actually know a lot about the game. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. and so I was like, hmm, I feel like it's going to be hard to like hide that, like, I'm playing really hard. Um, so maybe I would do better on a returning season, was a thought that I had. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's like getting struck by lightning twice. And if you go out first, it's like getting struck by lightning five times. Wow. Um, <laughs> so. When you first asked the question, my thought was Zach because Zach was my winner pick from 42. Mm. Mine too. Um, but I do want to play again and everybody knows it. That's why I had to retire because I just have to move on with my life. Mm. Okay. okay. I'd send yeah. them both. Send them I two of them. Send them both. Go on the amazing race. No. I don't, care. I don't care about that stupid stuff. I don't care. No. That's yeah. why you'll be good. Well, God, you don't so too much. Yeah, what? so God. You're so, so God. God. So dark. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, well. well, that's the thing, too. You know, if any of you go back, you're right. The odds of you doing better are, are far yeah, greater than the odds yeah. of you doing worse. But we all have that tiniest margin of error. Yeah. yeah. Because we're 17, there's still that one rung lower that we can mm-hmm. all achieve. Don't say there's wrong to Brandon, wrong. Zach. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that 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 part is hard because it is a like, wouldn't it be funny vote for if, if mm-hmm. we go for it's like this would yeah. be it would be comical, um, and yeah. that part you know, stinks. But it won't happen to either of y'all. He'll be okay. Be All right, let's uh, see. I have a uh, social media post uh, to share. Okay, here is uh, one from Mariah, who you know uh, we talked about this earlier about her and Liz. But check this out. Uh, Mariah shared a tweet, an instant message she got of somebody said to her, I seen you on Survivor and you said you show people how to do emails for money. Could you show me how? Yeah. Okay. And what's her issue? Right. <laughs> take, take the money, Mo. Take Just the money. Her Make the money. Write an email. Well, like, bro, I've sent feet, feet pics when people thought I was Jarvis. You know, like, mm-hmm. I got to just do what you got to do for the money. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that's 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 a problem uh, for Mariah. I mean, do you think that real Liz is getting more DMs about the email or about the guys uh, who want to date her for money? I can only speak to my email. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that there's a world where Liz went on this show to recruit more people for her email company. The fact that every yes. single conversation she has goes back to her emails. Like, this could <laughs> but, be, her like emails! but her emails. But her emails. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. That would be. Um, wait. She gets to the. She gets to the, lo- the loved ones letter, and she opens it up, and she's like, "It's one of my emails." It's spam. Yeah. yeah. It's, one, you know, <laughs> spam. it's not spam. <laughs> okay. Um. This is a spicy yeah, we- email from another seventeenth placer here. Um. I don't even know if I could read this one on the podcast, but uh, yeah, in spirit, yeah. in spirits. Okay. Um, Say it with your chest. <laughs> that's well. Okay. Uh, okay. So also another 17th placer. Uh, uh, said on the podcast, Justine Brennan uh, tweeted that she also shared one of her DMS recently where mm-hmm. uh, she found uh, one from July of 2023, where somebody uh, wanted to uh, commend her uh, physique on survivor. <laughs> yeah. This and then she direct- responded. You got to scroll to her response. Yes. Yeah. Okay. She said, thank you. <laughs> yeah. That, there you uh, go. She's great. Yeah. Watching watching Justine get voted out in the exact same placement as me, like right after. Sarah mm-hmm. Wilson and Justine, to see both of them get voted out. I'm like, they're cool people. Yeah. I guess, yeah I guess amazing. An amazing pair. It's a great group. <laughs> not for anything. When... <laughs> 
<laughs> when Great I read, placement. yeah. When when I read that tweet, I went back and looked at Justine's other tweet. I bet you did. Yeah, I like you. You went to her. Um, <laughs> um, she's so funny. She's so like she's Very really, funny. really, really funny. Yeah. Um, and I think you know just because she isn't in this world as much, you know, we forget. But we're all funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sarah, yeah. Wilson, Sarah Wilson's doing stand up. She's doing UCB Chicago, I think. I didn't know that. No, I meant yeah. that. I mean, yeah, oh. she's, 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 she's I mean, like, yeah. Funny. yeah. Yeah, you didn't know. I would assume she's funny. Um, you can't okay. be 17. All right. So let me end on uh, one last question uh, for the panel. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. You have a Maddie as a, a show and tell. Is it a Rudy shirt? Cutting the yeah. face off. It's somebody, it's somebody with it without a Rudy shirt on. It does not. not this is not Justine. That would be rude of me. This is my yes. sister. Okay. You are fake. Hold I think on. it's a real I'm picture. Play my shot yeah. in the dark. I'm not yeah. Is that vote. AI? It does look like a real picture. Yeah. 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 They're real. Yeah. AI is go. getting very good. Yeah. It's a great picture. Okay. All right. So um <laughs> oh. <laughs> Zach has a photo. So no, I, think is, I think that's real. Also. How did you find that so yeah. fast? Photo of Zach's that was brother. Dying. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Um, ben, ben said something else of note in the episode after making I the fire. Thinking about fire, like I didn't even cry over meeting Nicholas Cage. Okay, is there a celebrity that if you met them, that they would make you would cry? Chappelle, Jervis. <laughs> <laughs> You've never met Jervis. You've you have not. No, Rob, you won't let me. <laughs> yeah. He didn't. You, oh, yeah. you seem to like uh, like I am somehow responsible for <laughs> uh, like uh, the 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 famous people you meet or don't meet. I, first of all, Jervis is somewhere like fist pumping that you just called him a famous person. But uh, to me, to, to me, he is very Brandon famous. Yeah. Have you met Jervis? I met Jervis. I met Jervis before what? I was a driver in when I, like eleven or twelve. I was, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, but he's a great guy. You know, he, yeah. lives, he's, he might be at the, he, he might be at, you know, Philly events. We you come back to, you know. It's almost like we need to have a Philly event, Rob. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can just go to Philly anytime you want. Yeah, I, I am there. You can just, yeah. can, you can come hang out, you know. Brandon, you throw I, I, I have to move, a, do a lot of work for you to uh, have something happen that you want. I feel like there's some give and take here, Rob. I feel mm -hmm. like we're doing work for each other, you know. Mm -hmm. If you can get here in the next two hours, there's a squid game event that Jervis <laughs> may or may not be here, you know. Let me DM Trey and see what he can say. Yeah. Better. Trey, okay. Trey, you know, <laughs> other than Jer other than Jervis Chappelle, is there anybody else that you would cry if you met like Ben when Ben met Nicolas Cage? Do we need to hear that story also at some point? I kind of want to know. He yeah, posted a picture of it. Yeah. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. he has a photo with Nicolas Cage. It was like a meet and greet. It seems like it wasn't like mm. he met him on the street. Yeah. I'm. I mean, I don't know. Cry. I mean, even when I meet Jervis, I'm not going to cry in public. I won't tell anybody about it, you know, but I, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't get starstruck easily. I mean, I met Tyson one time and I didn't say anything. And so I think yeah. that's as good as you can get me is I'm just like speechless. Uh, but I don't think crying is something that I do well, Rob, but Rob, you've met a bunch of celebrities. Have you ever cried at meeting one? Um, I mean, I definitely cried after survivor all stars. Um, <laughs> Cause you met Boston that, Rob. You met, I met, I met a lot of celebrities uh, during that. So, but other than that, I can't think of a time. Rob, did yeah. you cry when you got voted out? I, I didn't like ball, uh, like, 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 and weep about it. So, like, I no, I, I didn't like shed actual tears. But like you that one gangster. But I was very was like, salty and up. sad. Yes, mm -hmm. for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I didn't cry when I got voted out, but I cried when Maddie got voted out. That's a true story. <laughs> yeah. I know. I I did too because I lost I another so draft. Shocked. Yes. <laughs> But for any of you, is there a celebrity that if you met them that you would cry? Uh, Eck and Sue. Eck and Sue, sure. I, Sanjaya, Brandon? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like you know me so well. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I have a I have a pretty serious breakdown if I get to meet Sanjaya. It's never happened. It's the I funny. Feel like that's a, a reasonable goal, Brandon. Well, like, we can make it happen. There were a couple people who tried to buy me Sanjaya cameos when I got voted off from like different points of my life, not all the same friend group. It's just a bunch of people knew mm -hmm. that I would enjoy Sanjaya cameo, and he turned them off. So, is he, uh, you know, is he on a different show that he's been on for he's six years? Oh, seven, no. he's yeah. out. He's well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you got you got to make the merge, or he won't even, you know, you're not, you're not cameoable. So he is, mm -hmm. a, he is a seventh placer, I believe. He's in good company. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Several <laughs> placers. Sanjaya. So, Sanjaya Blake Lewis. He's a legend. Well, we, 
What are we doing? Ooh, you know, the Blake Lewis, you give love a bad name. I know we're losing people, but that's a, you know, you're losing me. Yeah. You're lo- <laughs> yeah. He should not. <laughs> bon Jovi night. I believe it was April 26th of that year. It was, you know, yeah. Night. It was a good year. Okay. Yeah. All right, Maddie, anybody for you? Um, Kane Fritzler. <laughs> yes. Okay. What a name. <laughs> a <drop>. Beyonce. <laughs> yes. No, yes. I, will, I will say, honestly, the coolest celebrity that I got to meet like, like that was Bob Odenkirk. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Was, was, Especially for was, you. Yeah, that was such like I I was smart with it. I didn't go in and be like I love you in Breaking Bad. I was like I love you in Mr. Show. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He was like, oh, oh, we talked for like you know five something minutes. He sent me a he took my address down. I was like seventeen. Uh, he si- sent me a signed book. I mean, he was just what? beyond mm-hmm. beyond amazing, and I still love him because of that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have, I have a Kane story. Yes. Well, when we went to Toronto for uh the. RHAP live event that Rob facilitated so that I can meet Kane, obviously. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kane was with us. And I think we took a group picture or something like that. And I got like 42 DMs roughly where people were like, is Kane hot in person? Like, it's, that's Whoa. Kane? That that's is Kane? Kane. Like people were blowing it up, and I was like, "Girl, yes." You know, I was like, "Yes, sis." You know, I I was responding to all of them. People were trying to use me to get to Kane. It's iconic. He really is a Beyonce of sorts. He has Riz. Kane has Riz. He- yeah, Kane oh, Rizzler. Kane Rizzler. Yeah. Well, you know, Ponderosa and the girls were like, we were talking about our games, and I was like, the hottie of our season is Kane. People need to understand Kane is hot. Period. Wow. King Kane. Yeah, it happened. It's my Kane story. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. He's the perfect wingman, except you, not the, like, you just get like the trickle down economics effect, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. From the seventeenth placers, is there anything else that you all wanted to bring up for conversation with the roundtable? Until we get back together in the future with Jess, I I come up with a document like protocol for inevitably when we get like a dud because we're on a hot streak. Mm. We're, yeah, we're on such. That's literally what I was gonna say. We're on such a good. Right, it's so good yeah. right now. It's so good right this second. Yeah. So what do we do? How do we break it? Do we have to fake it? We should add. We should add Jess to the group chat right now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Officially on air, mm-hmm. or maybe not, or maybe don't. Maybe yes. Do you think she's gonna see it? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. As the newbie, then she should be the one that has to break the news to the dud that there is no seventeenth place. That's the first rule of seventeenth place club: is there is no seventeenth place club. Right. Yeah. 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 This is like, yeah. like a frat. It was it's just fake. a bit. We weren't. Mm-hmm. It wasn't real. Right. We tell her, like, hey, meet us. <laughs> meet us over here. We're like, we got an idol for you, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> she won't go to it. She, she said, you know. I know we're trying to wrap up, but is there another placement that you think, like, begets friendship, like, it's the 17th pl- place club? Because I know that the first person out, like, the mergatory thing, like, people are like, oh, they got screwed, you know, like, the Josh Wilder, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, you think those people feel kinship the way that we do? What is going on with this magic number? Ooh. Yeah. Even the first boots, I don't think they would be as close as y'all are either. Mm-hmm. Like it's something it's very special, this group. Oh, uh, you know, the new era first I'm boots scared. kind of are the reason because it's like a really eclectic group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think the winners are like this. No. The, no. The fire like, but I'm the best winner though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They like That's me more than you, right? Yeah. So so if we did a 17th placer only season of Survivor with 17 Do we have enough, Brandon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I have the list. I mean, I, I, I All right, tell Google us about, search. like, uh, the 17th placers at sea season. Okay. Okay, so I, there's there's 36 of us. 36? Okay. There's 36. Yeah, because not every, you know, there's some 16, you know. But you have strategic, Two timers. strategic you know, powerhouses like Garrett Adelstein is here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shamar. Obviously. Um, Nina Acosta, Mark Caruso, Russell. You know, I'm I'm reading the middle of the spreadsheet here. Brendan Papa Shapiro, Bear? Papa Bear's here. Brendan Shapiro. Oh, I've never heard him by his been. by his government name, Mark Caruso. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was making it. You know, you gotta make the. I was making the connections. Um, yeah, he, we got Chelsea Walker. We have uh, you know, the, the the six of us, the new era folks. Vince Sly. Secret oh yes, Truth Vince Sly is here. Um, Ooh. we have Ben Browning. Don't need to invite him. He's you know he's can be an alternate. Um, you could keep Vince Sly too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it would keep Vince, uh, JP, Mikey B. Which, which JP? This is JP Calderon. 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 Oh. Not, not, Gilzebe- 
Don't disrespect Hilsebeck like yeah, that. Hilsebeck, I you, was you, talking about John Palyak. <laughs> <laughs> Too many uh, JPs. You would think, but that would be Dolly Neely for. Uh, uh, um, mm, and then Ashley close. Ashby, um, you know, friend mm. of, you know, friend of the podcast. And Rudy, 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 Rudy teed us off. You know, we wouldn't be here without him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rudy's the first uh, ever player. Uh, you, you, all, you can miss me with that. <laughs> yeah. Look, oh, wait, that's not, I was going to say he's the first player to ever get voted out twice, but that actually is not true. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, it was it I Burton? Think, it's Wait. Burton. Yeah. It's yeah. Burton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, so I think the, the winner of that season is on this mat right here. Right here. One of you would be the <laughs> ones to win that. Uh, the winner. Season. Yeah, wow. I think so. Can you, I, I can you so. imagine this season actually comes to be and we have a clip of Papa Bear and JP talking it's about it's real. I, I it's watched happening. This, I watched this podcast. <laughs> They yeah. said top three. <laughs> the winner is in here. Did you, in here. That, did you see that podcast? Yeah. They said yeah. on the show they were going to the top three. JP, <laughs> listen. Listen. Yeah. No, nah, this is a good group. This is a good group. But I think it would be iconic to watch y'all play again. I, I would be rooting for you three at least. And definitely Jazz and Justine. The new era would have my heart and, in, the, in the 17th place. And Sarah. And Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. And Sarah. She's, Sarah. Sarah. She's doing stand-up. She's not going to have time for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're, we're, it's, I mean, again, and I don't want to get too you know, mushy, but I, I had such a fun time watching my thing and being in my thing because of Zach and Maddie both. Like, I, I, I cannot wow. thank both of them enough for, for my you know situation. And I just want it to be oh. that for whoever comes next and Jess, you know, Jess doesn't even need it. She's, she's, she's great. Um, but we're, we got a good team going, the six of us. Okay. We're a new era tribe. There's new a certain era tribe. level of support group energy mm -hmm. that we bring to the 17th <laughs> placers. Yeah. Yes. Okay. How would the 17th placers of the new era fare in a challenge? Ooh. Oh, I mean, probably Did you hear about that pogo stick, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is the challenge pogo stacking or doing Bon Jovi Night of American Idol trivia? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I think that um, I think we would be all screaming at Jess. <laughs> I think I would really now. like we would all be not that great at it, but we'd really use. She said she it. doesn't care. Yeah, she can take it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any, anything else from the episode that we want to mention here, or uh, let's start to uh, wrap things up? Okay. All yeah, right. I don't Brandon so. Donlin, what's coming up for you? I mean, more of this. You can re-listen to this if you liked it. I mean, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll yes, yeah, you know, nobody's ever uh said that before of that. You know what? <laughs> At the end of this podcast, you can go back and listen to this podcast again from the start. Yeah, this isn't know? this isn't going away. Um, the first two episodes of Survivor 45 are good. I mm -hmm. was in those. Streaming um, on Paramount Plus. Also streaming on Paramount Plus. What's that? They legit yeah. are good. Um, the the MTV Champs versus Stars season three reunion show that I asked the question in. Um, mm -hmm. that's on Paramount Plus. You can go find yeah. that. Um, Ooh. I met the Miz. That's my celebrity that I cried over. The oh, Miz yes. Um, yep. okay. And then if you if you're listening to this today, which you won't be because it airs on Sunday, you can come to the Squid Game event in Philadelphia that I will be packing up my laptop and leaving for after this is done. You should bring your laptop to the Squid Game event. I do realize. Are you the DJing? Way, the way that I said that made it sound like I will just put my laptop away in my house and then go there. <laughs> so are you are you pretending to be one of the contestants? I will be tonight. Yes, I will not. If people are if, if there's just strictly Squid Game yeah. fans here, I am zero one seven. How many I, people yeah. will wear the jumpsuit to the event? <laughs> do you want to guess? I'll I'll text. You know. Yeah. What what's yeah. the over under? I'm gonna say three and a half. Okay, that's a great. I was. I think five is my number. I say more. I there's say more. There's like fifteen of them that are going. No, no. There's fifty. There's fifty Squid Gamers coming. So, the, so the odds are high that there's. You know, if you want to adjust three and a half, I believe fifty. Yeah. I mean, there's four hundred fifty. That's not even. Not all of them are real. I'm telling you, they've got yeah, some, some imposters. There. Maddie, would you do Squid Game? Rob, I won't do any other show ever. <laughs> yes, she knows why she came here. What, what about the, the traders, island? Maddie? The traders came calling. The casting director of the traders follows me. Why? Ooh. Oh, you know yeah. why. It'll be something. Yeah. I don't care. I don't but care. But you still say no. I don't care. You won't go to the traders. They're not gonna ask me. I don't know why she follows me, but I wouldn't go. She's, you're playing hard wow. to get. She's negging them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I don't I don't care. You look, you, you're kind of wearing the, the robe thing. <laughs> <right>? Yes. <laughs> are you in the turret? <laughs> you're giving turret. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is, is that why you tweeted this group chat, a picture of Ekin Sue before the show started? <laughs> you signaling? Okay. All right. So check out Brandon Donlin tonight. Yeah. Maddie, what's coming up for you? Rob, that wasn't Ekin Sue. That's literally my sister. Oh, <laughs> that's belonged to my sister. Okay. <laughs> so get it right. So this is Wait. really like uh, looking back on it, this has really been one of the most insane podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we try to do here at Club Condo. It's really the, the vibe we like to maintain. Fake. Her boobs look fake. They're real, though. I promise. Which My one friend was getting a boob job, and she's like, can I talk to Caroline about her experience? And I was like, those are real. Those are real. Anyway. Wow. Is your sister on Celebrity Boob Brother, or is that Ekansu? <laughs> Which one's there now? I didn't okay. know that Ekansu was doing Celebrity Boob Brother. <laughs> That's a joke Spoiler based alert. on you. Know, Spoiler yeah. alert. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Maddie, what else is coming up for you? Well, I'm about to hop. You'll on be my on a pogo yeah. stick for well over an hour at the next live show. Yeah, and, and we'll be cutting to you live outside on the street in the theater. Yes. Putting yeah. it on the screen. Yeah. You stole my thunder. I was going to say that I was going to pogo to my friend's house now. Okay. But now I'm going. Yeah, will you be practicing for the event? <laughs> um. Yeah. Nothing's new with me. I'm going to my friend's house now. I have fun hanging out with my friends here. Yeah. Um, I'm turning 30 next month. That's fun. Okay. Yes, Aries Queen. And then I'm gonna April just Aries. Song on the traders. So. Middle aged mafia. Ooh. Okay, middle aged mafia is here. All right, ready to go. All right. Well, Maddie, thank you for coming out of retirement for this. Thanks, Rob. Okay. And and <laughs> look, I'm Maddie. I, I'm yeah, that you, I know you were tired, but you brought it. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> it's just what she brought. Yes. All right. Well, Zach Wurdenberger, what's coming up for you? Um, you know, nothing, nothing of note. You can follow me at Zach Wurt. You can follow my mom at Steph Wurt. You can check out yes. the podcast you just, together. Yes. You just talked about drag race. I know. And my mom was was firing from the hip. She's already been blocked by two of the queens. Oh, wow. Yes, Why? mom. Did she, did she have hot takes? She did have hot takes. I and I would like, I would push her. She'd be like, I'm not a fan of Q. And I'm like, why specifically? And my mom's like, I just find her obnoxious, <laughs> yeah. which is, you know, I appreciate. I think that that's uh, a lot of fun. You I mean, did your mom tag her? I mean, no, at that point you not. have to. Yeah. You can yeah. Have to. You delete so, her Twitter though. So yeah. So, and, and the I Queens listened to the podcast and then went out of the way and found Stephanie Wurtenberger and then blocked her. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not exactly sure. You'll have to wow. ask her. Um, but yeah, check out Corey does uh, some Twitch stream if you want to support the Wurtenberger mm -hmm. family. I hop on those sometimes. And also, I want to just say to you, Rob, yes. as, you know, to kind of uh, soapbox while I have you is as a listener of Rob as a podcast, something I've always wanted more of is stuff like this, where it's like multiple survivors on a yes. call. We will, that's, we, that you all have brought something to, uh, here and, and maybe in Club Condo, we'll, we'll do more of this. Yeah, I think it's so much fun, to, especially like people who are on different seasons that like you, because obviously me, Maddie and Brandon have interacted a ton, but never like mm -hmm. in an actual public setting that people can watch. Yeah. There's so much gold there from like all the other contestants. And I really hope you guys like continue doing this. Okay. Chappelle, should we do the Billy Joel off real quick? Of Ooh, course. Yes. Go okay. ahead. You you get, you get, and, and this is the rule. Okay. We'll get you get 15 seconds in the game and the game's over if you can't if you can't okay. name one. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Let's do it. All right. Uh Zach, you're the visitor. You can go first. Piano man. For the longest time. Only the good die young. River of Dreams. Uptown Girl. Um, no, no, I'm not going to lose like this. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Uh, New York State of Mind. She's always a woman. Um, Vienna. Just the way you are. Zanzibar. Pressure. Uh, no, no kidding. <laughs> um, this is the best. 10 seconds. Uh, Baby Grand. Uh, she's got away. Scenes from an Italian restaurant. Ooh. Uh, prelude, angry young man. <laughs> um, this is very hard seconds. to do it like this. Yeah. Um, uh, Five seconds. The entertainer. Sleeping with the television on. I'm going, I'm going deep. Yeah. Wow. 10 seconds. Are people going to make fun of me? 
Um, Five seconds. Um, this is what you get for outbidding me on Zach on the first boots. Uh, this is it's eating into my time. And yeah, your time him, is give him another yeah, ten. Give him another yeah. ten. I okay. put five on the clock. <laughs> five on the clock. Um, I'm going to my bed. Miami 2017. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Maddie with uh, the save for Rob. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Uh, ten seconds. Still lock and roll to me. Ooh. Good. Um. Ten seconds. Say goodbye to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. uh, you may be right. Um, I don't Ten know if seconds. I said for the longest time. They yeah. said you already. did that already. And yeah, we have a loser yeah. here. Zach, right oh, right 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 Very good. Oh, yeah. like a Gen Z. I'm, no, I know. I am, I'm very impressed that somebody uh, much younger than me uh, came in, and this was so much more impressive. And then I feel like if I would have said I know a lot of Billy Joel songs, people would have just uh, made fun of me. So I'm very yeah. impressed, Zach. Look, Rob, I didn't start the fire. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, my God. You sure as hell ended it. You yes. know, Rob, first Dwight, now Zach. These new age people, these kids, mm -hmm. they got yep. your number. Yep, yep. The kids are all right, Chappelle. You know, uh, one uh, one uh, quick thing before we end, actually, that's just related to that, is in my first interview I ever did with Jeff, I've got, like, these vinyl records. I love music and such. Mm -hmm. Igor. Uh, yeah, I love the albums. Run so the Jewels good. as well right there. Mm -hmm. um, so The Stranger. The Stranger, yes. <laughs> there it is. Anyways, the call comes on, and Jeff, it's, like, a similar background. It's obviously different. But the stranger was in there very keenly in the background. And that was the first thing Jeff brought up. Oh, wow. Um, he was like, he was like, the stranger. Wow. How old are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Billy Joel is like one of the most popular artists of all time. But like he got so much respect for me instantly. Yeah. Just by the fact that I okay. uh, loved Billy Joel. Casting tip. Okay. You don't have to go to Adam Klein for that one. All right, oh, Brandon. Free, free okay. on the house. That one. Yes. Free on the house. Uh, yeah. May and maybe like, uh, maybe, uh, write an essay about the stranger and as it pertains to survivor. Yeah. Yeah. Can't hurt. The song. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, Chappelle, of course, uh, you and I are going to be back together to talk about, uh, Dandy, Deal or No Deal Island, episode Dandy! three coming up on Monday night. And of course, Chappelle has a recap kickback going on. Yep. Dandy exit interviews are coming as well. We do have a 17th placer, Boston Rob, on, uh, on Dandy. So that's fun. But yeah, check it out. Deal or No Deal Island. It is incredible I, i'm telling you whatever you thought the show was going to be it's better than that and so check it out rob and jenny and i are talking about it on hit a quick v you can also catch me on recapkickback.com talking about all the stuff that i want to talk about and uh yeah guesting in random places but you know still doing the podcast thing nothing but netflix coming soon as well so tune in subscribe to nothing but netflix wherever you get your podcast follow me on twitter at recap kickback okay all right and then we had full traders coverage on thursday night Puya and I got into, I won't spoil anything. Uh, Puya and I got into the finale and the reunion show. And uh, we had a uh, winner circle interview uh, with uh, somebody who won money. And so you can check that out here on robheadswebsite.com. 17th Placers, thank you so much. This was incredible. Yay. Thank okay. you, Rob. You're the best. All right. Thank you. We'll be back with more Club Condo next week. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.